Jude, good evening. <laughs> that was very fast. Nice. How you doing, Jude? Very nice. Uh, okay. I'm so delighted to be here today. Um, I'm going to wait for some few minutes for our members to join. And from there, we take it off. Okay. Let me try and sign up from the system so I can read our messages from here. Please let me know if my audio is here, basically, so that we can continue. Please let's go straight to the question because I want the question answer thing to be quick. I don't want to spend too much time today. Today is one of those days whereby I think the busy schedule had already bled my head. so. I'm struggling with my, I don't know, I'm struggling with my good health, let's say it that way, because I'm, I'm feeling tired. But that's usually the way, most time. <laughs> Jude Christopher says, I'm first here. Yes, I, and you were actually even waiting, because I've logged in the live, and I didn't want to waste our data. I would have just given, uh, I would have popped up some you know, in, uh, nice things in between so that we can see something to watch before I pop up. But I just figured it's better we wait where the data is uh, saved than to call out for it. Let's share the link to the group. I think there's a share button here. Uh, share to your group so because I didn't have enough time to pop it up in the group. Please let's share it so that we can all enjoy it today. Okay. Now, I'm just trying to wait a bit, maybe because I didn't send any message to the group, so the influx is not that, I think we're just about seven or there about. I, I want a few of us to join before I go straight to what I want to talk about today, which is how to set up business online. If you want to set up a business online, there are some uh, metrics, prerequisites that you have to pass through, and that's what I'll be talking about today. Okay, welcome again. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to log into the system so I can have a full time instead of having a distracted time. Aha, okay. Bobby Nelson says, Good evening, sir. Okay, I think those are the messages. I hope I didn't skip anything. Mine is still loading. All right, please, if you have any questions, ask. But then even if you are not asking, today I've decided to treat this important thing. And I want to give that as a form of uh, encouragement to all of us so that we will know how these things work. Um, Marian King Azeke says, good evening, sir. Happy Sunday. Felix Nwabweze says, good evening, pastor. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I can go straight to want to discuss with us. Uh, first thing is, if you want to make money online, like most of us want to do, there are some things we have to follow and put in place. I have had this type of question like a million times, and it really does not matter what you think or who you or how you think you want to make money. It's the same metrics for everyone. If you have been to a university, for example, it's the same metric for everyone to use uh, in getting a certificate. It's like that. I don't know, I think I'm struggling with this thing. Each time I move forward, it's cutting out part of my head. <laughs> Maybe I have to shift it backwards. I was struggling with, I'm looking at my hairline. Don't make me look bald. A lot of people are paying huge money to have a full hair. So to those of us that God has blessed, let's, <laughs> let's enjoy our time before we go bald. Because <laughs> I learned this with age. Maybe when I'm 25, my, my head will be bad. <laughs> so you will now carry, oh, he said when he's 25, is he less than 25? No, I'm just joking. That's, that's, not the, that's not the right thing, okay? Now, when you want to start making money online, the metrics you should follow, I'm going to tell us like maybe six or eight, and this is really important. You have to follow it one after the other. It's not a case of jumping. Let me tell you the truth. A lot of us are jumping. We, we don't even know what we're doing. 
we just online looking at videos and watching YouTube videos. That's all we're doing. I think I can put us to be like content uh, consumers. A lot of us are content consumers. We are not really, really uh, looking up to make money online. There is no way. It's just like somebody who wants to give back to a child the normal way, the proper way that will be respectable in the society. Then you know you have to date, you have to court. Am I correct? Then you have to get married before you start talking about children. And you need to provide financial support for those children and moral support as well. That's when you become a good father. That's how you become a good mother. So for a lot of people who want to make money online, maybe as an affiliate marketer, you want to make money as a freelancer, whatever it is, there is a metric thing. All these questions of what can I click to make my first dollar, I just want to make my first $10, all these questions does not work. It, there's no day you will make it. That's why you can stay online for 10 years and make nothing. Or you make maybe $50 or $40 by mistake or by error. And that's not what you want. So let me tell us the, the things we have to put in play so you will know. I'm, I don't know. I'm not used to uh, looking for audiences that are not quality. Let me put it that way. There are things I could say or do that can get me 100,000 people, 10,000, 5,000. But they will not be of quality. I don't want friends that are not classy. Let's put it that way. I can choose my friends, and that's the way it is. And I, I want a particular feel of people that we are hanging out together. Every Sunday, we are always here. This is what they call hanging out. We are gisting, we are talking, we are sending messages. Oh, okay, Abdullah Slimon says, Good evening, sir. Good evening. Okay? I want the best of the best. I want us to start, you know talking in some high level of businesses and things that could work and not, not just I've not made my one dollar after following you for four months or six months. That's not what I want. And I've seen that gap in information. And how did I get to this that I'm saying tonight is because somebody asked me and said, I've been following you, although I'm still trying to uh, increase my skill, but I've not made anything. So I said, how do you intend to make something like I was just asking inquisitively, like, what's your plan? Apparently, he said nothing. I'm just watching videos. I'm like, hmm, this is what everybody's doing. Watching content creators from one place to the other. We are, we are more like jinxed for information. So if you have not popped up the YouTube to look at maybe comedy, look at uh, tutorials about money making, you will not feel as if you have spent a day. And that thing is, is, is how do I put it? You can't get used to it. You just be consuming information, consuming websites to tell you this website pays this, this one does that, this strategy do this, this one does that. Which day are you going to make the money? If you don't have the right strategy, you will not make this money. I'm telling you it's like that. And I'm going to mention to you how this works. And I'm not mentioning uh, maybe random things. These eight things I'm going to mention to you off my head. I hope I remember everything. They are incredible that if you start now, you may not be eagerly or apparently successful with it immediately. That's what we do. Even me, that was what I did over and over. I've done it three times. In my six years of now making money online, I've done this three times myself. So you can imagine, I've repeated this thing I'm telling you thrice, and it worked the whole three times. <laughs> number one, number one, number one. That's the first thing you should look at. Don't come and tell me any other thing, sir. If you're online now and you can see me, please, you're not supposed to say you don't know what you're doing or you're not making money again. Number one, audience. I'm sure by now you know that audience is the principal thing. Audience. Either you want affiliate marketing, audience. You want to do freelancing, audience. You want to do YouTube, audience. I'm talking of real ways of making money. I'm not talking of uh, one survey, of uh, IO.NK. All those ones are nothing, basically. It's meant for secondary school students who are trying to try out things. And I taught survey once on this channel simply because I just wanted to reach out to those that are looking for that so I can tell them the truth. That it's not like that that can't pay you money, but it's like it, it can't really pay you money. <laughs> you can make $7 in three months. And I'm sure that's not what you want. Ozupe says, good evening, all the giants in the house. Oru Bernard Exer says, top of the evening, African giants. Good evening. Ezekiel Money says, evening, everyone. 
Franklin TV says, happy Sunday, sir. How's family? I had to tell my children. Now, <laughs> this is very funny. Normally, they were supposed to have their movie time. I, I dragged it back a bit because I knew I was going to be here. So they saw the movie for like one hour, 30 minutes. It was to be for two hours. So they insisted they complete their time because if it's on a book, you must complete your time. So I now asked them to go to uh, my own room with uh, my wife's so that they can finish up, my wife is with them and all of that, just so that they won't disturb me. Because if I leave them close to the office or something, they will keep fighting and shouting, you know, children. They can just be funny. So that's how the family is still now. <laughs> that's where we are at the moment. Okay. Okwala uh, Tolokwe says, good evening, sir. Olari Wajueko says, good evening. Ezekiel Money says, African giant, I remember the day I told you I don't have money to start business online. I remember how you said I wasn't serious. But I followed your words and make 25k last week alone. <laughs> That's it. Look, I've said this before, and I usually don't say this outside, apart from within family like this. I don't always say it. When Buari said Nigerian youths are lazy, all the youths went to Twitter, they were screaming, everybody was abusing. The very first time he said it, I knew we were lazy. I, I, you can see I'm, I'm a youth. See, my party is even closing. Maybe I'll go and bab again. I'm a youth myself. When he said we are lazy, I knew we were lazy. Have you ever imagined what our fathers did in terms of education? My father would go to the farm because his own father was a big farmer. He will go to the farm. He will come back home to pound yam and still go for lessons in school. All in the make that he wants to write waek or whatever name they call it in their days. You know? But this time around, we will watch Netflix, we will look for money for data to chat and follow trends, and then we say we are working. <laughs> and then we say Nigeria is bad. Like, what are we doing? Absolutely nothing. I don't know. That was the first impression I had when Buari said that that day. And, I, and it's, maybe Buari will change my perspective about a lot of things, because I'm like, hmm, look at the youths that are doing well. They are hardworking. But you, you say, hey, I, I want to work. I, I, if I see something, will I not do? Those people that are doing, who created that thing they are doing for them? Who? No one. That's the simple truth. Everybody will figure something out and drive at it as if something is wrong with them. That's how you create wealth for yourself in Nigeria or Africa. That's what it takes. But we usually don't do it. Thank God for Ezekiel now. Look, he just told me he can't, oh, let me see it again, doesn't have money to start anything. The truth is, there is money. Have you thought about it? Every year, Nigeria will pull up a budget. 9.7 trillion. Maybe because I live in Abuja, I usually see these things. Every day, just go outside now. Just go outside. The latest of every Lexus car, you see. Latest of every Camry, you see. The latest of... So, where on are they take see money? <laughs> where on are they see this money? So, if you ask the right question, you will outmostly get the right answer. And you can't be hanging out with losers, hanging Chelsea and man you. Okay, now, today, when I was about coming up, I opened my browser, I was trying to browse. Then I see where somebody said, Nigeria won Liberia. I was inquisitive as a Nigeria Liberia, like, what's happening here? I thought it was just maybe one thing. I clicked on it. Apparently, they said they play football. Maybe that today or yesterday. So I saw they said the Nigeria beat Liberia 2-0. So I knew it was current. I just closed it. <laughs> yes, it go. I will analyze Nigeria. I can suggest the 11 team, 11 players to play in a team. Like I was doing all sorts of things. In my mind, I was in the national. I know everything about Arsenal. Before they say they want to bring in somebody from one club, I know. But all the information I had was useless. I was poor. I will tell myself, and I'm being sincere with you, I'll tell myself I cannot kill myself. After all, I can't steal. I can't kill. You know, I will try and say all those nonsense to myself just to keep up with that my stupid lifestyle of looking for information that has no value for me and walking and apologies to all i'm telling you because the pool program monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so i go to church and pray 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 i will keep praying one day i prayed you will die like lazarus <laughs> like lazarus I was like, and this one is not like a pastor told me. 
You know, some people don't know the difference between what I'm thinking and when he speaks. So I'm like, ah, I'm just coming from church. Why would I say, get you behind me, devil? He said, all these things you have gathered, all this which point will you go and walk to receive the favor? Because it is work that can command favor. I hope you understand that. When you pray and wish good for your neighbor and you help people, it releases that favor. I'm going to do something now. Oh, I don't have money. Okay, let me just use my nose mask. Ladies and gentlemen, nose mask, I'll give you $1,000. And I mean it. I still have 1,000 over whatever in PayPal, Pioneer, anywhere. Anywhere you turn to, you see money. <laughs> Whether IGT Bank, Fidelity Bank, anywhere. I'm going to throw this. Whoever catches this, just screen grab it. Yeah. And send it to me. I'll give you 1,000. When I say three, I'll throw it. Whoever catches it. One, two, three. Oh. Who caught it? Who caught the nose mask? <laughs> you know why you can't catch it? You are not here. That's the power of work. When you pray, it's released. Like that. It's only until you walk that you can now receive it. The fact that I even release something to you does not mean your hand will touch it. That's what most people don't know. So they end up, I was ready praying. At, like I, I was a multi-millionaire in the spirit. But in physical, I was very poor. <laughs> and I thought I was doing God's work. In my head, I was, I was praying. I was being holy. As I'm talking to you, if I'm to bridge and to be very sincere with you, between now and then, if I'm to measure holiness by a meter, I think I'm more holy now than then. You know why? Then I... <laughs> don't let me say I hate people. I really don't hate people, but I don't like talking to them. You know why? Everything they do is like Bugatti me. I think they are showing off. So somebody carries, he's all picking up. I say, oh, baby, my mama, I say, wait till they worry this one. I first get picking. <laughs> For God's sake, wait till consign me. Consign person will carry picking. When you are poor, you start listening like church rats or cow. Simply because everything irritates you. And it's not because you are a bad person. But because the situation with you is not palatable, your spirit will just be angry. If you sleep, say, they say something. <laughs> I wanted to ask a question today on one of our pages that I managed. Have you eaten in the drink before? Which to be? Some people say, yes, 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 yes. They don't say, no, 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 God forbid. Eat in the drink. If you are very hungry and there's nothing to eat, they bring food in the drink. You go chop them all. <laughs> that's where you go, kids, they forget. Nah, I go chop them first. <laughs> and that's exactly how these things work. But when you cannot walk, forget it. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm a pastor. I'm supposed to be the one telling you pray, pray, pray. No. Prayer is essential. Work is more essential or essential. Whatever you want to call it. You know why that is so? Because I'm evaluated. I'm not a Christian by chance. Not because they gave back to me as a Christian. Everything I read in the Bible, before I face to serve the Lord, I put my brain at it. I'm not stupid. God didn't create me to come to this world and be, and be bamboozled by somebody telling me this is how faith works. No. I need to figure things out myself. And I figured it out. I checked out virtually, including witchcraft. I checked it out. Every kind of Buddhist, priest, whatever anybody serves, I checked them out to see which one are you talking. One of the reasons why I accepted really to serve the Lord is because I noticed every other religion comes back to Jesus. It's like Jesus versus all other religion. They don't measure... Or Batala versus uh, Masquerade, or God of Thunder versus God of River. Nobody compares the two of them. Every religion comes back to compare against Jesus. So I was like, hmm, <laughs> that means something is about, and I'm just using logical thinking. Because all these people preaching, praying, doing whatever. I, how old are you? The highest old, the oldest person in ministry is maybe 80 something years. So what, what are you telling us? 80 something years, out of billions of years that existed. You don't even know anything. The human beings don't know anything. I'm telling you. Big Gates is out. Upon, uh, I created a new generation. Uh, Elon Musk is out. So you can't tell me you know anything. Even if you didn't do anything other than sit in front of a book and continue to read since you are born, you still don't know anything. So I know a lot of people have this desire that God created in us, which is to recreate. So God can really pick something in you quicker. 
Don't let me even say it. Whatever you believe can pick something in you. And that's number one. So when I knew everybody was versus a particular religion, I'm like, okay, let's look deeper in this. But the more I look, the more I see that people are manipulating what Christianity is. Look, walk, walk, walk. That is a symbol that God created in humanity that can never be mixed up. Never. <laughs> I think I slept like one hour 30 minutes today and I'll still continue working. Look, the work I do, and I'm personifying this, is what, what three, four people can do that you take them three years, I'll do mine in six months. That's how, now I can tell anyone I'm really hard working because I don't stand up. I don't want to play. And I know what I'm doing. I've seen all these billionaires, they follow the same route, unless you want to steal or kill or whatever. You have to, you see, every minute you waste in your 90 years that you want to spend on it, you have wasted it for your generation, not you alone. Your children are still going to question you about that. Every second you, you, you waste. I was talking to one of my friends, he was like, how do you have time for everything in the house? I was smiling. Those are things I thought rich people had. He said, you are rich. I said, forget it. And I'm not rich. I'm telling you the truth. It's not because of bad mouth. I see rich people. I think I'm work rich. I'm not rich rich. <laughs> you get what I mean? I'm work rich. Like I'm rich in work. I see a lot of people who have money and they don't work. They have plenty money. But they don't really work. They go to gym. They play with friends. They go to parties. Do you know my cameraman? And I'm so apologetic about this. I'm sure... I don't even think you can see anything that comes from me again. He's my cameraman. He got married like three weeks ago and I forgot. I forgot completely. And it wasn't my fault fault. I kept telling him, remind me. But you know, he would be like, ah, what's in it now? I said, yeah, I took two weeks off. You should know that next two weeks, man. It was three days after that I remembered. And I didn't even remember. It was GP that somebody showed me that made me. I just did like this. I don't... And look, look at clothes, look at everything. And I was excited that at least I would go out for this one. Mm, yeah, I forgot. And people can't understand it. I still have some friends today who think I'm arrogant or who think I'm just being proud. They can't figure out that you are working for 30 days without break. And then you do that for one year, you do it for three years. They can't figure it out. Like, nobody works like that until you meet me. <laughs> That's when you will know. On a daily basis, I do like four tutorials. I have nine channels on YouTube. I have 21 blog posts. I attend to a lot of people, both church and off church. I have like 100,000 members in church. And the more I do things, the more I look for more trouble. I call it trouble. I always call it trouble. When I look for more venture, I call it trouble. Because I know it's going to expand my horizon. At some point, I feel like I, my brain is carrying more than I can, you know, work with. That's why I went to diet. I stopped eating some meat. I stopped eating this so that my body can still cope with the stress I'm picking it through. I saw like two pieces of white hair on my body. One came out from here. Then one came out from here. I pulled them off. At my age, half of my friends, all of them are something, they are white. But my own is still black. So when people are saying, when you walk too much, it makes you dull a jack boy, I laugh. <laughs> Me now, I walk and I'm not dull, of course. That's just all this kind of narrative will make you poorer. And then somebody will say, if it was my hard work, people that are digging well, all these are bookies. They are the ones that are supposed to be richest. And I'm like, okay. Now, let's say you're a graphic designer. And you design your mates because of where we live. And maybe some of us have not traveled before. A graphic designer in Pakistan, or let's say in Canada, by now has a whole industry of presets and themes that they have developed. <laughs> you know how that works. They keep producing templates until they create a thumbnail factory that people that want to do thumbnail all over the world will only buy the software they give it to a software engineer to build for them and then when you buy here you buy here maybe ten dollars you can use any of the templates in it they might have created ten thousand pieces of types of templates that is re-editable some of your mates are graphic designers who are the ones that made etsy red bubble tea spray your mate so is the idea that they created the templates and they gave it to website developers to host it for them. And from that point, it's not like when you do that, you're now going to rest on the beach and be playing. Like Jack Ma said today, I listened to one of his uh, new uh, interviews. 
He said, I told myself with the level of which it blew out when Alibaba started, that when he was 40, he would retire. But that when he was 40, he could not retire. The company was still in trouble. And I said, okay, I should solve this trouble by <laughs> five years. And then when he's 45, he'll retire. 45, he never retire. So he just gave up and said, well, when I die, I'll retire. <laughs> because that's how, you see, this success we see, we only look at the mirage part of it. The real work is, is like a kitchen. That, that's the example I always give. If you have gone to any eatery before, you notice that most of the time, the eatery is always beautiful. When you enter an eatery, either Captain Cook or Chicken Republic or Tantalizer, whatever, Mr. Biggs or Mrs. Left, anywhere you enter, you see them. Very pretty, beautiful, and then you can eat. Let them take you to the backyard where they are cooking those food they are eating in the front. You will not be able to eat those food. You know why? All the intestines of fishes, all the grinding, of the people walking behind the scene are always very dirty. They wear gloves, but the gloves don't go green. You know? A lot of things go on there. But in the front, when the food is dished, it's nice. So, for those of us that are hard work and walking behind the scene, when we are walking, we are rugged. I just don't want to, because some people say, yeah, natural. I don't want to cut across to you as if I want to be a natural. Nah. You know, before I would have just flipped my camera to see. Today, I've sat on three different chairs and tables today alone. You know why? When I sit this way and I'm tired, I stand up, I sit, there's another chair somewhere. <laughs> Let me show you. I usually just want you to see. Now, you see this plastic chair, this one here. You see pillow on it. That was another one. Let me show you another one here. Look at this small one. Belongs to my daughter, at this one. And then this is the table here. What do you think is happening? When I'm tired of a position, to tell you I have different height of uh, chairs. So I sit on the lower one, so my back will fold a bit, I continue work. And if I'm tired, I change to another one, put pillow. That's my pillowcase in my room. That's my bed sheet. They are, what do they call it? Pillow that you rest your head in the room. I took it and shook my back, shook my back. Even this one I'm seated on here. You can imagine it. Look, throw pillow. You see them? Everywhere. This is the system I'm reading from. Okay? <laughs> I'm just showing you because... All of us now, you want to make money online. Sometimes this thing they vest me. Oh. So they just say, I've been following you. What are you following me for? Who did I follow? Ask me, who is my mentor? The people who say, I want you to be my mentor. I want to, who is my mentor? Nobody I know taught me one thing like this. None. There was no anything like YouTube uh, tutorials when I started working online and I started making money on Fiverr. Nobody taught me anything. None. I figured out everything by myself. From poverty, it wasn't like I came from UK and I brought some pounds or I came from US. From poor, you saw, you are very rich now. You're the only time you are rich. As I'm talking to you, you are very rich. Maybe you are buying data you can watch. I, can't even, I don't even know anything, and I could still figure things out. But here you are, somebody giving you golden nuggets, giving everything, and you are still complaining. Are you sure this? You even tell somebody about open, they say, are you sure it will work? So you need assurance, as if you are. Ah, now, did you pay for? material if i want to buy mouse now say are you sure this mouse will work because i'm paying but somebody's giving an information wrong with it first try something out your inspiration can even come they can tell you a by the time you want to do it yourself you are doing bcd is it not that way and then you break through it is your own all the people that made money from Africa on african giants through the training okay when my wife did birthday i think some people sent her money the african giants uh members i think that's it then one person sent me money. I can't even remember the name, but <laughs> he sent me 10 k Can you imagine? And I don't even think he had made money. But you know, he just said, if I remember, he just said I wanted to tap into your stomach or something. He said something like that, and then he gave me money. I was laughing. I said, why are you giving me money? <laughs> he said, I should not stop it. Too. I should just collect it like that. <laughs> so I collected. Then somebody bought Richard card for me too, one time. I'm just telling you that, look, if you are successful, 98 percent now you get them how much are you going to give to who because in our mind now be asking now if i ask you today why do you think god should bless you you say because i love my family mm -hmm. if god bless you now your family so you buy your first car you can give it to family you build your first house you carry all your family come and live there it's a lie don't they deceive yourself we are all human beings even the little money you have anytime you have ten five thousand what do you do you send to your girlfriend or your boyfriend whichever one and then you buy data if you want to make your make here and then you maybe say, ah, my mom, you take 5,000 out of 25,000. And so if you, you are eating 20,000 and you want to give 5,000, is that because of them that you are working? You are working for yourself, okay? You are working for yourself. 
So walk. Because this thing they pepper my body. That's why I wanted to tell us these eight things in business. Before Ezekiel now mentioned that he now has money. Drive. If you are a, when I was doing driving, I, I always come to my house by 11:30, 12 o'clock in the night, and I will leave by 5:30 in the morning. I don't know. I think I have some incredible. See, I know if you double down on anything you are doing, even if you are selling granite, you sell more, and then you can invest in something higher, and then you can grow higher. Look at this now. We are doing Giants Classroom, 25,000 to buy uh, websites to have access to this full information. Some people cannot look for it. 35,000. And they will say, you are, have you are not buying course. So. As soon as I say, bring 25,000 for course, bring 25,000 for the uh, yeah. You can say it's too much now. Website that you will use, that is you that will put the name. You still cannot figure out one month, two months. And then they say, there is no money online. I'm very online. Because you don't even know how to set out. So, uh, where who will make the money for you? Some people will get orders on Fiverr. I had that today. A lady got a Fiverr order. And then sent it to me and said, I should help her. I should help her. I said, I should help you to do what? I don't even know where to start from. That was what I told her. I don't know where to start from. I should come and help you do. I said, why did you create a gig on Fiverr that you can't do? Let me now switch back a bit to what I said. The first thing is audience. Let me read some more information. If you're enjoying this stream, like button, like button, I always enjoy that life. It's like it's my own food. That's my own, uh, I don't know, whatever. Just like the video. Okay. Olani Yosemi says, Good evening, my boss. Bliss Fulling says, Good evening, sir. All trendy vibes says, Well done, sir. All trendy vibes now loud. <laughs> Maybe I was saying something then. Uh, Vitalis Dimago says, Good evening and a glorious Sunday, sir. I'm happy to be here. Today is my first time I have been here. <laughs> Everybody say, Welcome to Vitalis. He's a new member. Welcome, Vitalis. Sometimes I imagine where people that are first time I see also, like, you are not a subscriber, you are nothing. How do you see these live videos? <laughs> I don't know. I think YouTube is doing something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Kenneth Justin says, good evening, I'm excited to be here. God's power of Dogu says, right on, sir. Izuchuku Akabibo says, you are on point, sir. I think I'm getting better with my pronunciation of names. <laughs> you know, everybody develops. Even me, I'm developing as I'm doing the stream. You know, and I'm getting more comfortable so that I can entertain and educate, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Kenneth Justin says, today is my first time, but how do I get to follow up with this channel? Ah, that's a big ask. You know why I'm saying that? Because we have around 300 and something tutorials. But I think what you can do is to chat with me. If you go to the description of this video, you see the uh, chats on all our social media. Just talk to me so I can maybe give you some guides. Or you join the classroom. We have a giant classroom. Uh, anywhere you start from, actually, you can build something. You know, if you are just dedicated to it, you can build your way back to things. And that's, that will do a lot of work. Okay. OBY says, good evening, happy Sunday. Okay, happy Sunday. Jude Christopher says, yeah, you cannot come out of one trouble without entering another trouble. <laughs> trouble in this sense is business. Not trouble, trouble like that. It's all about business. And that's how it works. I don't see business as business. I don't see it as opportunities. Some people say business opportunity. There's not the opportunity in business. It's trouble to trouble to trouble. And that's my mentality. I see every avenue of making money as a problem because as soon as you start, I've got a contract before. I remember when I first moved to Abuja, I got an 18 million contract with one of the estates. I was doing furniture. I think this thing, whether offline or online, is the same thing. Because I remember the first thing I thought about when I got to Abuja. I stayed around, I didn't have a job, I pulled my wife out of ours, and we are now in Abuja, based on, you know, ministry, we'll go to Abuja and set up ministry. So I was there and I was thinking, now what is it they are doing in Abuja that I can do? What's the most prominent business or work here? So I noticed two and, and and that's how I think a normal person should think. The first thing I noticed was people generally have shops, which is normal, you have shops. But I can't afford any shop. I don't have any money. So which shop am I? And Abuja shop is <laughs> way of balance. Six hundred k in one bush. If you want to get to cream de la cream, two point three, three point something. Where will I get that to pay for one year shop? So I asked again, what's the next thing? And then I looked around, looked around, and I said, okay, people are collecting contracts. You can get something. And that's one unique thing about Abuja. The, these eighteen million contracts I told you about, they don't even know my shop. They don't know where I stay. Nothing. They just gave me the contract and said we'll be giving you. Uh, one million every time you 
finish the one million, we'll give you another one. So they don't want to give me the whole money because they don't know me. <laughs> but I just went there with myself alone. But I was very good. They asked me to do a sample. I did the sample. They loved it and all. And they gave me the job. So that's the beauty of Abuja. And that's how I became the furniture person. But before I got to that, what did I do? I located the furniture uh, outfit, very big one, where they do a lot of furnitures. What I did was I went to them. I didn't tell them I was looking for a job. I just told them I want to do like IT. So they said, where is my paper? I said, no, 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 I'm a graduate. I have a master's and all. Just give me what I want. I just want to do IT here. And then you can send me anywhere or just like a normal staff. Just stop me and let me work or a marketer or something. Just So they now said, okay, we can take you as a marketer. I said, good. What do you want me to be marketing? They brought out their portfolios. They, brought, they assigned me to somebody who was, going to, who was going to teach me. Luckily for me, there was a young lady there who was their architect who draws, is the architect they call those ones, that drawings these designs. She draws the designs. So that was how I got to, you know, when you're young, <laughs> when you're young, you're young. Everybody can say hi to you, <laughs> especially if you're straight. <laughs> I'm just saying, because I really don't cut out like good looking, good looking like that, but I just, at least I can catch one or two attentions when I walk by. So she noticed and greeted me and I greeted her and they said, you work here, that's how I became friends. Every information I needed about it, she gave me. Where I could go to learn more about furniture in that same organization, she told me. You see, what I usually do, this time it wasn't online. I'm not talking of online. I've been struggling online too because nobody to direct me, nothing. So I was using that to make ends meet. And then she told me everything. That's how I became a furniture man. I learned how to make doors. I learned how to make TV stands. I learned how to make chairs. I learned everything in the space of five months. Five, like five, six months in all. After that month, when I got to like third month, I already knew all my measurements. I knew how to do quotation. I knew how to draw. I knew. Then I started looking for contract. So we closed by four, but I'm a marketer now. They are not paying you. I don't even need money. It's skill. You see how I was thinking before. Success, I think, is not just like a mistake. I think it's inbuilt. Because nobody taught me all these things I know. But some of us, we are teaching you, you are still there, second guessing it. I can imagine if I had somebody to teach me anything. I'll be way better than you. Like, the times because my own instinct is fast i'm like thinking speed speed uh, critical thinking that's what we are teaching in the classroom now critical thinking 18 courses module critical thinking alone so most of, and, and i see you know the funniest thing even those in the classroom i noticed that the first set of uh, maybe six uh, courses that i've put up there only few people are looking at it you can imagine when you have like 100 and something students and only like 30 something is looking. The remaining 90 something, they, are, they didn't see that critical thinking because it's no money making to them. You see the problem we have in this world. And I'm very sorry for a lot of people. I'm telling you officially, I'm still going to be arrogant. <laughs> Let me say it that way. Because I'm getting pissed off every day, every day, every day. I'm, I'm getting angrier and angrier and angrier. That was the first thing that happened on the WhatsApp. I stopped WhatsApp training. I moved over to this giant something. I'm going to be angry and I was, I don't need it's, I'm not a YouTuber that makes money from YouTube. I don't care. Is is this? I make five hundred dollar, seven hundred dollar on YouTube after thirty days of training. Is that what I? The account on Fiverr I don't use. We make more than that in a month. I'm telling you, this is not. I'm not hyping. You know. Sometimes I get angry and I say the raw truth like that <laughs> because it's pissing. You, I am the one that I've done this. You, see, I am. I am not hiding. I'm telling you and showing you how it is, and I'm even offering myself to teach you how these things work. And you are still the one choosing what you what you want to learn. You sabi now you don't really make money all this way. I'm telling you critical thinking. Look, I'm not as a husband, as a father, as a neighbor, as anything in this life is critical thinking. Look at every successful person. The first thing they would say is, I thought about, I just feel I should. What what are you feeling like? Thinking. If your thinking processes are bad, there's no day you will make any money. Forget it. All this email marketing, email market on it. By the time you send the email and nobody opens, you'll be frustrated. If you have critical thinking, you'll be able to process your information quicker. You'll be able to evaluate things faster. Analysis. You have, we have the analysis, compa uh, composure and that, whatever, composition. We do all of that. That you will practice and practice and practice. And they are still not looking at those things. They are the ones that bought website too. You know, they are even still better than people who have not even bought any website or they are not even there at all. The ones that have even shown interest. To now learn the thing that will take them to the next level, they, 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 they are not learning. Every rich man you know have one analogy. What do you think is analogy? Critical thinking. 
Why is Dangote selling more than this? Critical thing can think. About you, you can't think. You only complain. You nag. And then at the end of the day, everybody that is doing well, just like I was doing before, you see them as arrogant. You see them as every Sunday. Between one and two people must unfollow this channel. As soon as they listen to me talk, I don't know the thing. Maybe they, I cut across to them as arrogant or whatever. They will go and leave. Because they cannot take the truth. And in their mind, now, they say, I will make it. I, did I say you won't make it? Do we even know ourselves? Have you seen me before? Why would I be wishing you what? I can't wish you bad. It's not bad. I'm trying to let you do the right thing. At the end of the day, you feel, some people will be lucky. They can break it. But you will know inside of you that you never make them. Okay, something happened today with between I have a group abroad that I stay, like all of us, and that we are Jagavans technically, so we really don't talk much. They now ask if they take everything you have now. I just smiled. I said it has happened to me twice. This one is not the case of if they take, they have taken what I had twice, zero, zero, and I came back up way higher than the way I even left before. So I said, forget about it. Some people say, hey, it may be difficult to, some will say, and notice those that said it may be difficult are those that had maybe scandals and had uh, popularity. You know that kind of stuff. Uh, are we still online? Okay. All of a sudden, I just noticed the word counter. What do you call it? Uh, counter that shows that people are here went off. You see, I was like, what, what are you? Take me where? What I'm what? I don't even have any investment. Every investment is this my head. That's my investment. Because everything I do is in my head. It's not, and it's, it starts from critical thinking. It all starts from that. So please, 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 either you're on the group or not, the things that don't matter is what really counts. The ones that you think count is what does not matter. That's how these YouTubers that will show you cars and all, they are working on your intelligence. They are not really teaching you anything. They just want you to be bamboozled to buy more whatever course they are selling or whatever they are trying to let you watch so that they can make more money. They don't care about you. We get, why am I angry with you for not uh, doing the right thing? Are you bringing the money to me? But that's my nature. I'm a real teacher. Like I taught all my life, when I was in guess one, I was teaching people in primary two, three. I remember they were my dad's uh, uh, mechanic. Let me say this story before. They were his mechanics and all, so they couldn't afford to go to school. I told my dad they should come. They were paying me 13 naira, maybe three of them, 20 naira or so then. And then I was teaching them. After that, when I got to GS3, I started teaching primary 6. When I got to uh, SS3, I started teaching GS1. When I got to ND2, because I went to the Polytechnic first, I studied agric engineering before I did the entry, and I still did my HND and I also did the BSc Mechanical Engineering. And then I kept teaching like that till tomorrow. Even when, after I left school, when I was doing core members, I was teaching SS3 again. After I started work and I was working with multi choice, I was still doing extra coaching. And I'm just so passionate about teaching. I remember that time, I would walk to where they are teaching all these extra morals, all these people that teach people on uh, YEC and GCE. So that's where I went to, and I told them I want to be teaching mathematics and physics. So they told me, do I know how to teach? I said yes. They gave me a test. I blasted it. I am very brilliant. And I'm, I'm blowing my own horn. If you sabi, you sabi. It's like Ronaldo. They say, they asked Ronaldo now, he's the best player in the world. He said me. And he wasn't even the best player in the world that time. But you can see what he became years after. I'm that kind of person. <laughs> I'm not afraid to sing my own uh, praises. No, he said, no, it's not you that you will talk. It's Asada that will talk. No, 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 no. So what if Asada say I'm stupid? Then I will not say because he said I'm stupid, I'm stupid. No, Asada should not even say anything about me. Let me say something about myself. Now, I mean, no. Have you seen my nakedness before? Do you know me? Uh -huh. How big or small uh, is that? Is that it? You know anything? You don't know me. Now, I mean, know myself. And maybe my wife. Funny enough, I can't even allow my wife to determine what goes on in my life. It's me. If I tell you I'm stupid, I'm stupid. If I say I'm not, I'm not. Uh -huh. Why are you debating me? Did you give that to me? <laughs> Even people that gave that to me don't know me. Uh, because can you count the number of bears here? I can decide tomorrow to remove it. I can put more tomorrow. You know? Those are things that... So sing your own praise. Be sure of what you, who you are. Nobody say, you be me humility in rubbish. No. There is no humility in being poor. Humility in not knowing where you are going or direction. If I tell you I'm going there, I'm going there. You are going, you are going. If I fail, I fail. It's my failure. It's not your own. So I'm 100% ruthless about who I am. And that's how I think everybody should be. Please. I'm still going to say these eight things. Very important. Or let me even rush it now before I go back to our question and answer so that I can just concentrate on that. Otherwise, I'll be distracted. First thing is audience. I've told you one billion times. The fact that you're not gathering audience shows you don't know anything about online. If you have to be successful online, you need audience. You need, I can't be speaking to, okay now, do you know that these things I'm saying today, I already knew them as far back as 2011. 
Do you know? I'm just building on it. Every day I still put two, three hours to study, and some incredible things happened <laughs> like a few days ago. I had some friends in the US who apparently they saw whatever was going on, so they were exerted and all. But when we started doing business together, then they were advising me. And each time they want to advise me, they will now send me videos. They'll say, oh, there's one man that is very interesting, he's very good, I, I want to send it to you so that you can learn something from. And then they will send me, maybe they send me Gary's video. <laughs> to be very frank, I always say, thank you. Oh, this is nice. In my mind, I'm like, are these people just funny? You think this is the level I am in? With these things, motivational things that you are listening to that is shocking you? In 2014, I studied 100 billionaires in the world. There is no successful man on earth that you see on YouTube that have not followed through everything they do, unless maybe the new ones they are doing now. And that's not their bulk. You know, people have to go and have to go and have to go at some point. They can't even remember where they're coming from again. When they were still halfway, that's when I studied all of them, including Elon Musk. He wasn't, no, the number of people that know him in the world, they are like this. When I've known, I studied everything about him. And when I say I study, all your books I read, every of your podcasts I listen to, every of your interviews I listen to. That's what I mean by study. And I did that on 100, including people in Philistine, including the owner of Chelsea. I studied every time. Look, I know what it takes to be a wealthy man. Like, and I'm not saying wealth. I mean that you can borrow a country money. Write it down. Nigeria will be in debt. I will borrow them money. They won't go to Russia again or China or whatever they are borrowing. They borrow from Blessing Kolawale. Write it down today. I said it. I know what it takes to get to that level. Because I've seen it done over and over and over by people of different culture, people of different facets. It's not brag, you know. It always looks like that. But anybody that knows me two years ago, we know that if this guy can be like this in two years, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> and I'm saying it. And I'm telling you, from my own wealth of experience, audience is the best thing you can do for yourself. Audience. To get audience. Okay, now, let me ask us some basic questions because I think we know the popular ones. If, um, if Blessing Kolawole wants to contest for the governor of Osho State, do you think he will be employed or what, what they call that? Elected. <laughs> I said employed. Sorry, my brain is over floating. Do you think Blessing Kolawole, my name is Blessing Kolawole. This one, you might be saying, who is Blessing Kolawole? If you don't know my name, you get out of there. <laughs> Don't get that. Don't get that. Let me hug you. Let me hug you. Hey, it's not, I just said that you like it. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Blessing Kolawale. Right. Do you think if I contest 2000, what's that? I'm, not, I'm a pastor. I'm not contesting. I'm just saying you. Uh, hey, because some people start encouraging me now. Ah, yes, yeah, I'm contest. I'm not contesting. That's none of my, it's not my line. Do you think I will pop in there? Yes or no? I can't. I know the answer. But do you think? If on my Instagram, I have 50 million followers, and on YouTube, I have maybe 7 million followers, and on Facebook, I have like another 40 million. If I want to contest and become the governor of Washington State, do you think I will enter? <laughs> can, you, can you now start seeing the metrics of audience? Can you see it? I have some people in the United States now, they are building every single day, they are building audiences in Nigeria, even when they live in the U.S. Because now maybe they don't get somebody to tell them, say, audience naive be money. All the celebrities, use, what celebrity? I have them as church members, I have them as friends, I have them everywhere. If you meet a celebrity, you'll be disappointed though. All these people, yeah, unless they, you know, we have A list, B list, C list, D list, E list, F list. <laughs> we have different list of celebrities, you know. But I'm talking of a regular celebrity. Yeah, that's why they can't hold up, okay now, they said Tonto DK had they left this Kaparowski man that is dating again from Delta or something. I'm interested in him, in her, I mean, because she attends uh, one of our churches here in Abuja, uh, Koza. Uh, not my church, yo, because some people said I look like Koza when I snap pictures. Not my own particular church, but I know she attends Koza and we always see her all around. Now, the thing is, why do you think they can't hold up to any relationship? Because they're always looking for content, they're always looking for that audience so they can't be loyal you know people that are looking for audience unless they have a trait they can't be loyal but for them she's not acting i don't remember the last time you saw her in acting movies she's not doing skits so what what's she doing what's she doing so that's why it's easier to even agree with anybody who says this is what so that guy said this is what she's doing to raise money and it's almost like the truth because you, where, where, how are you making money audiences the ones they have 
can generate money for them if they have a business. How many celebrities do you know have a regular business that can sell anything? Online or offline? I was in acting. Action! <laughs> That's not my crying face, so I'm just making that up. <laughs> Papa! You won't let me marry this girl now. I told you I love her. <laughs> Stop crying, my son. <laughs> if you want me, man. And then they pay me 20000 Then they start putting it on social media. And then they call me celebrity. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you don't know that's what celebrity means. Michael Jackson, that became Michael Jackson. What was he doing? He passed that one. Not before inside your house, they do celebrity. So people already have called me celebrity now. And look, I'm in my house. What, what, what celebrity in this one? <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, at the end of the day, is the attention you can command that is your wealth, is your naira. I remember there is a guy on uh, Instagram that was blocked. Tune the not. Thank God I remember his name today. Tune the head not. They said he was banned. And then 24 hours, he went to another YouTube, uh, another Instagram, and had a million follower, I think within 24 hours or 48 hours. That is the power of money in this generation. If you stay in your house and you think in that your house, you make money. You are joking. Or because you know somebody in your church. All of those guys in your church are either doing contracts with government. They are either doing fraud somewhere that you can't trace. They are either flaunting for people who have money. I know somebody who is flaunting for patient Jonathan. And when I say I know, I don't mean they are my friend. <laughs> you know, I just know. So you now, because we know they think. That's, you know, I was talking about critical thinking. You don't have to play football. You don't have a family that is doing football or that is a celebrity that you can ride on their fame. You might are from a poor family. It's not like when your papa died, you leave you anything. <laughs> because you are like our own too. You are, we are just praying that they will live longer. It's not because there is anything on ground. <laughs> Maybe you would not have wished that if they had plenty of money. Anyway, I'm just saying, bad habit. Uh -huh. It's not like you can sing. You will say maybe you go to the voice and win five million or ten million. <laughs> so help me by help. Let's help ourselves, people of God. At which point are you going to break through? Tell me, oh, maybe in a job you go get you've been regarded for six years, two years, four years now. Okay, which job now? When you are a fresh graduate, they no accept you fresh. Now when you come old born for house, now you go come begin new job. How? Okay, now all the friends that are supposed to help you. You, you don't know. When you all graduated, you started on the same lane, like 100, 100 meters. Until your mark said, go. Well, that day they give you a certificate. Go. Some of your friends are here. Look at you here. In another two years, they won't be in the frame again. Nobody sees them again. And you are here. Tell me which day are they coming back to help you. They will just make you drive. You know they watch movie. When they meet, they say, hey, he was brilliant then. Oh, ah, yes, they will say, okay, I have a branch of something, something, somewhere. I'll put you there. You are a slave boy. You'll be saying sir to your mates. Of course, 100%. This one, I don't mean it's evil. But actually, everybody that knows me, that I know, they now put sign my name. Not because, because I'm a pastor. You know, naturally, they say, I didn't even know it was like that, though. The thing, I'm still uncomfortable with it. My friends that we are like, come on, you me, you know. You now say, oh, thank you, sir. I'm like, you are who be, thank you, sir. <laughs> I don't even understand. I told one of my clients now, when he was calling me blessing, I said, you know, in the old world, they are the one that only called me my name. He was like, really? I said, yes. Yeah, it's like maybe you are somewhere you don't know how uh, pastoral work means. Because as a pastor, we have a level of anointing that we all believe that you can cut something and destroy anything anytime. So everybody is cautious of you. They don't want you to come and use that. Because the truth is, people that are called are not ordinary people. There must be something that God saw before he called you. Just like the Davids, the Solomon, they are not just normal people. Except you don't agree with anything divine or spiritual. So they will look ordinary because they always give back to everybody the same way. By the end of the day, they will start exhibiting that brilliance and that nature that tears them up. You just notice that ah, they came back to us in the same place. Why is this person this great? That's um, Oloni Shaki was uh, defense minister, if I'm correct. Do you know I was still doing MC when one of their brothers was getting married in the cantonment in Nikeja? I remember that man when they turned him to maybe chief of army staff or chief of defense staff or something. I can't remember his position. He was like. The people that do also rock meeting with Buari, they are in charge of all this. I think he's retired now. 
That man gave me 10,000 twice that day. I was a comedian. I was still doing comedy. He was outside. And I was cracking the jokes inside the hall where they were doing the party. Ah, anytime you say this, you can't call me. Anytime they call me, he will put his hand in his pocket. He will give me 10,000. <laughs> like, he was enjoying. And he wasn't laughing, you know. That's the funniest thing. He's not that tall. Uh, he saw him one on one. And he wasn't the chief of defense at that time. So he was still normal. I think maybe major, general. I don't even know. See, that's my own weakness. I don't really know much about these uh, people. And that was it. He would give me 10,000. When they made him this thing, I was excited because I was like, uh huh. At least first time that I have contact with somebody in that, in that high level of power. At the end of the day, if I was his brother, you think I would be on YouTube talking like this? Except this is my passion, basically. I love teaching. But apart from that, of course, by now, they would have made me maybe general something, something to something. Because I have people who will always say, ah, if you can make this man something closer to the top, let him just be training people. And, because that's what they feel. At the end of the day, it's the audience. I can be good like this and go nowhere. They asked Macaroni, who is a comedian, and he said, thank God that when he left school, you know, I think he went to regular school and then studied theater arts or something, I can't remember. And then I, I saw the interview with uh, Messi Johnson. That's what I do. I was studying him, Macaroni. Because I, I learned one of my, uh, my younger brother's friend was the wife, was the lecturer in maybe Covenant or Babcock or something, one of the private universities. So I was like, ah. That means my mate is his own uh, lecturer. That means I'm up to be the lecturer because my mates are lecturers like everywhere. It's been a while we left the university. I think like 15 years now. So most of my mates who wanted to lecture, they are, you know, me, I didn't want to lecture. They called me at one point in Federal Polytechnic in I didn't go because I'm scary about the women. You know, <laughs> all the most beautiful girls in the world are undergraduates. I can't go and put myself in that order because I know I will still have swag. As a lecturer now, you come in with so our girls will come in. I don't want to go to Empire. I always say it. It's not today that pastor thing came up. With. My whole first importance is I don't want to go to Empire. Forget it. Anything anybody is saying. Even if you get to Empire and they say there is no Empire, I have not lost anything. But what if you get to Empire and Empire is real, true, true? <laughs> well, I don't be. You know, if you come back to the world, so it's, I'm better to stay safe. If they say it doesn't exist, mm -hmm, I'm still safe. But if you think you can live anyhow and then you get there, they say well, I did. <laughs> well, I one day who go come save you? You know. So I said I wasn't doing that lecturing thing and all, and I left. Now, I started looking at him. What made him different? How did he get to that level in how many years? I remember when Shaggy started. I even started the comedy something that time. But I didn't want to be seen as a comedian. I dropped that. But for him, I think he has a lot of speed. And then I was looking into that, looking into that, and I was, you know, he said categorically that when he noticed that he could not make it in industry like no my entertainment industry in movies because he said they were asking for Amal Lane. Especially those big guns. If you get to them and then you say you want to act, they won't put you. That's how I like how you're The very first time he me in Transcorp, he offered to give me a role. But I said I was not a comedian. Uh, sorry, I was not a, an actor. Because he thought, are you only said, I said no. Do you want to act? I said no. I just didn't want to act at all. Maybe we are just giving one worker pass or something. <laughs> but I'm just saying. So he now figured, he said, okay, now that these people are not really going to allow me move, what else can I do? Critical thinking. Now, when it's not like he had money somewhere or there was no, he just wanted to start. He said, so he looked for people who had done what he wanted to do and followed them verbatim. Today is even bigger than those people he studied. You are looking straight into my eyes, go and do more than I do. Hello? Go and do more than I do. And I'm going to tell you what I'm doing so you can better me. Apart from the fact that I'm even teaching it. Audience is key. Audience. Audience is key. There's nothing more. Audience. Ah, can I say that again? Audience is key. How do you gather this audience? I'm sure that's the next question. One, YouTube. You don't need to, you know, if you are doing anything because of the money you want to make, that's why you don't have enough passion to drive it through. Understand that you are looking for audience, you don't need money. Even when you need money. It will turn to money, I will tell you the point, it will turn to money, but don't worry about the money. You know, all of us are just looking for money that we will not find if we don't set up for it, especially online. Offline, you can find money now. You can have somebody dash you something online. But real, real, realistically, look for audience without thinking you want to monetize them. Or how much will I make? Forget money. They will make you tons of money that your generation cannot make. But please, just go ahead and look for audience. 
how do you look for them? Start a YouTube channel and talk about anything. I saw some channels today because I wanted to teach something about that. This that I'm saying. So I was making some inquiries and you know, look at a lady practically recorded her life like Kim Kardashian for the past six years. She has 45,000 subscribers. She no make she no make like that. She gonna make like that kind of one thousand five hundred uh, dollars. Okay, I think somebody is mentioning the name of the person. I can't really remember because today is me and these YouTubers in Nigeria. You know, I started this giant tube that is for YouTube training, and I see a lot of people struggling. You see somebody three years ago is on one thousand five subscribers. This year is still on three thousand five. I'm like, what are you people doing? When me I started in December, I've almost hit fifteen thousand subscribers. By next year, I'll get like 60 or 70,000. So what are you doing? Like, that means you, are not, you don't know how to do it. So those are the people I want to target to teach on JanTube so they can make more money. I started releasing tutorials on JanTube as well. I think I released one yesterday. I'm going to be doing, you know, on this channel, I do one day off, two days, uh, one day in, one day off or two days off now. I'm not doing 24 hours like before. But I still have the energy to do 24 hours. So I just created another channel to be pouring the energy there. She can, and I'm not expecting money. Because what I'm teaching there, I can teach it here. And it will join it will turn to money but it's not about money it's about guiding the audience now if i have like we are on african giant we are doing affiliate marketing freelancing and i print on demand with blogging and then i do youtube there what do you think happens another set of people if tomorrow i start to do youtube uh, master class if i do youtube master class how many of us will go to that because we are not regular youtubers those ones will buy so if i do that one and successful i can go and create another blogging site i'll go again I'm not that pressure. I will reduce my efficiency here and go for that one and keep going until you have five that is teaching specified. That's big money. If you don't know, please get yourself to get in traffic to yourself. A lot of people are looking for traffic. I don't look for traffic. The giant classroom that we started, I have not put a link anywhere. I have not asked anybody anywhere except on this channel. And we have 127 people in two months. Each one of them paid 25,000 times it. Even if I was broke in my entire life. <laughs> Where is my calculator? I want to even times multiply what that is. Because when I'm talking, I want you to know, I'm not, we all are here. Although the 25K was not my own. It's not like they dashed me the money. It was uh, money for website. But I'm just telling you, if I was to sell something to them, <coughs> it's the same process. I, I have not multiplied it together. 127 multiplied by 25,000. And that's in two months. How much is that? What? You see as much as this? I didn't notice. That's 3.1 million. Uh oh. L L. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Two months. And I've not made one advert. And some people now we have courses. I've had people who come to me and say, uh, we should share the money, I should help them market their course. I say, you and who the market course. Because they don't understand how online money making works. So I can practically do this alone and be making 1.5 million every month because I have traffic. How many traffic? 13,700 subscribers. <laughs> can you not imagine if I have like 400,000 subscribers and then I now put up a program or a software or I want to sell something? Do you see? Boom. See, it's better to remain poor for the next one year so that you can now start making 5 million every month. It's worth every bit of it. And I'm telling you, if you want to start that way, audience. And now that you think you don't have money to create audience is easy, just open that YouTube. Be talking about anything. You can be talking about Chelsea, if that's your passion. Talk about fashion. Talk about politics. It doesn't matter if it is niche niche. Don't talk about anything. Let people shout gather around you that you are talking. If it is uh, makeup, if it is uh, white teeth, white teeth, anything. Do any, we are all human beings. We have a dynamics. There are things I don't know anything about now that you know. Go and be talking that one. You are not bothered about whether you have 100 subscribers or 200. You will start growing and growing. And even if it's next one year, you will grow and grow and grow and it will repay you back all the efforts that you have put. That's number one. You can also do it on blogging. Remember, blogging has... That one is even the easiest. Because video is a bit difficult. <laughs> I must tell you, I'm doing the two. That's why I could have 21 uh, blog sites. Uh, but on uh, video, I have uh, nine. And it's not like the nine is full premium. I'm struggling with <laughs> some of them. Because of content creation is difficult. You come up with ideas, you come up with traffic ideas, you edit, you do, you know, so a lot of stuff's going on there. But I'm just saying, blogging too can do it for you. Just be writing blog posts. By the time you write a 130 blog post, in less than a year, you gain traction. That one will make you heavy money. YouTube will also make you money. 
I'm telling you now, every month I get like 700, 600, sometimes 500 dollars from this same channel you're looking at. Doing what? <laughs> Do you understand? After, and I started making money on the YouTube. Uh, I, I started creating December, January. I got monetized. Then I didn't do turn it on in January, I didn't turn it up in February because I was teaching some people on WhatsApp and most of them thought I was teaching them because of YouTube views. So I did not turn on the uh, monetization because of that. And then I turned it on and after I finished that course, then I turned it them in March. From that March, first March, we made like $300. The next one was like uh, four something. The next one, 700 or something. And then I think we had 600 and 500. So technically, the channel has been like $3,000, which I think should be like how much? 1.5 million. So even how many, if you divide that in how many months, let's even say from that December, if you divide 1.5 million by eight months, if I was poor before, would I still say I'm poor? If I couldn't afford my children's school fees, would I still stay that again? And then from this point going forward, there's no day there will be money on that channel. Because whether I produce video or I don't, they must come and watch. Somebody will see me and say, wow, provided you have quality, they are trying to improve. That's all. People will always see you trying to improve. It's like that. When I started, okay, I think I started, <laughs> I started like on a higher note. You know why? I've been making money online for like six years before I started YouTube. So before I started YouTube, I had everything. I didn't even know I was coming to YouTube, but I was to do uh skates i was doing gospel skates so i bought all the cameras lights uh, audio i bought everything and i remember i spent like three million on those things at that time you know i think that's like two years ago before i now got before corona started before i now said okay let me teach because of corona was why i was teaching my church members youtube that's why we even came on this youtube otherwise i would not be on youtube i was using blog as my own traffic because i was looking for us traffic and i feel that if i'm showing my face how many whites will come and be looking at my face? And it's also evident, because I can imagine if I'm white and I have this content, you know how many subscribers I will have now? Or if I live in America or something, you know, you or I have accent, that would have improved my appetite, like how people receive me and, you know. So I figured that out early and I said, let me use blog. You can't see my face on blog. You can only see me type. So I'm using that. Thousands of visitors every single month. And this channel is not doing bad because we always have like 100,000 uh, views on a monthly basis, which is not bad as well, but way more on the blog. And it works. So after you now have audience, then you can look for a skill. You see, your process of looking for audience, you will get a skill. You will know what skill you need for them. Do you understand? If you want to figure out the skill before you start, you will discover that your skill will not be worth it. Then you have to go back for the skill. That's why I say look for audience first. Any nonsense you want to do, anything you want to say, comedy, whatever, uh, argumentative, just look for the audience. Blog or YouTube, I think that's it, or Instagram, all those Twitter, TikTok, just capture attention. Then from there, you convert it back to one skill you are going to learn. Okay? Now, you, am I supposed to sell them graphic design? Is it to make websites? Am I to write articles? Is it to just continue with brand deals? Is it merchandise? Am I going to... You figure that out when you are building that audience. That's how to do it. When you get that, what happens next is you will now make a product that you will give out for free. And this one, just follow my life from December. This thing I'm telling you is what I do. Now I'm giving out all my things for free, and as you know, but you think I'm, this is how I will give it out forever. Hmm? <laughs> do, do you understand the narrative? Somebody was asking, I told them I was going to give them Canva free. I said it has expired. I know they give free again. Somebody said, you said you will give us bulk email sender. I said, I know they give again. He said, why now? I said, ah, <laughs> it's been a gift. If I told them I was going to give you free, is it compulsory? Is it by force? I know they give again. Do you know what happened? When I started, I was giving free things. I gave free Canva, free gift this. I was doing a lot of research to get this, get, I dash it free. That time there was maybe 1,000 subscribers, 1,008. By the time we got to 4,000, I remove all the free. <laughs> so people have like, give up. at least you, maybe you don't see my value now. The same prototype. You look for audience, YouTube is a very good audience. You look for your skill, whatever, my, I have numerous skills. Then you give that skill, you use it to produce a product that you will give out for free. It doesn't make sense, you want to make money, but you notice that you make money. When you give that out for free, it adds value to you anywhere in the world because people don't give things out for free 
It has value to you. Easily people can trust you because they now know what you can do. And then from there, you will now offer. You know, you are giving those uh, services, the products, you are giving it out for free. You will now offer them for sale. That's when you start making money. You see, <laughs> if I've given you, let's say, a free thing before, like two, three times, and I now have something to sell, you are going to buy. There's no two way to do that. If you can give this one for free, how will it? Boom, you buy. <laughs> That's how you recoup back all the suffering you have suffered. And from that point going forward, is wealth, and just depends on how you can manage your wealth. That's all. It's that easy from that point. Because you now have audience, audience that will appreciate you. The audience will now see the value. They will get freebies and then they buy product. The next one, which is number one, was I, five or six, is now to create. You have created products, you will now create a service out of that product. For a lot of people, we are exchanging our time for money, which is good from the beginning, because I told you, all of this I'm saying takes time, so you have to start something like Fiverr. That means most of us has to learn a skill. So I'm saying, if you want to make money online and become Jagaban, the eight process I state is what you do, but if you want to do it quickly and just start from now, go and learn a skill. You see all this looking for low competition on uh, Fiverr. Does not work. Look for a major skill. You can. I'm going to teach transcribing tomorrow. I'll teach transcribing tomorrow and full course. I've already made it. I just edit and post so that you can transcribe online. That's easy to do. It's software made, but it's a skill as well. You know, I told you I want to be teaching skill. Then on Wednesday, I'll teach social, social media handling. How to be a social media handler, how to get clients and customers. I'll teach all of that. I'm teaching skills now. On this channel so that everybody can have the skill that they need while they are building their audience as soon as you are learning go and gather audience i'm telling you god will help us let's let me read some i think we have a lot of uh questions here i don't want to use more than two hours today as a matter of fact i don't know if you notice my eyes becoming dimmer my it's like they remove two wire from this place and this place of my head <laughs> Edeka, i have a now so let me quickly switch to what we have so that I won't waste much of our time. <clears throat> okay. Um, Vita Dimago says, Sir, the referral bonus you under mentioned, is it for the channel or for the class? Referral bonus is for the class. When you refer someone to the class, not, and the person pays for that website. I'm just using that to encourage us and to spread out. I have the dream of reaching 100,000 people. So that's why I'm doing all sort of on that. And then now I told you my strategy. If you refer somebody and you get paid from that person, whatever it is, and then we keep growing. When I get to 100,000, I'm going to monetize by selling something. So don't think I'm wasting my time or I don't know what I'm doing. At the end of it all, if I have 100,000 people and I put up anything, even if you want cost, and only 1,000 people buy it for, let's say, 10,000 Naira. You are multiplying another person's money. <laughs> will, you, will you stop that? Will you stop that? You see, it's interesting now. I'm teaching you how to do it. Some people will still not do it. I don't know what's wrong with us. You see somebody doing something, it writes in your face now. I'm not hiding it. Though. I'm not for me, guru for you or Jagaban. I'm telling you how it works. Create a content or something. Just be gathering people. If it is to be clapping and singing on your own Instagram or something, just let people gather you. That's all. And then you continue like that. Let me multiply it to daddy. Because the way I'm saying it is sweeting me. This is uh, 1,000 people out of 100,000. If I sell something for 10,000 naira, 10 million. It's not bad. It's not plenty. Whatever. Let's go. Okola uh, Tolulokwe says, Welcome. Code Smart says, Just made my first sale on Fiverr thanks to you. Thanks to God. That's it. This is the kind of news I always want to hear. I have a lot of it, and I don't know. Maybe I will share sharing. This is like the second, third, fourth month I've been saying I will share testimonies. But the work is always overlapping testimonies. Thank God for your life, Code Smart. More success coming across to you. I love that. Then Agro Center says hello, good evening. Ladrinet237 says hello. Agro Center says good evening, sir. Online business can someone start as a newbie? I think I've been explaining that since it's freelancing that is the number one that can pay you fast. The only thing is you merge your freelancing with um, audience gathering. So either you start to blog or you start a YouTube channel or you do both. I'm always 
a fanatic about these things. If you tell me I can do one or three things, I'll do the three together and I will struggle with it. I don't care. I prefer to struggle than to stay at ease. That's why I'm always looking for more trouble and creating more things to cause more trouble. That's just my nature. I like to be stretched beyond limit. I prefer the way I'm complaining about a day than to be sleeping and say I'm not, I'm, thank God I'm relaxing today. What am I relaxing for? Like my younger brother will say, he will say, when you die, what will you be doing? You'll be sleeping now. <laughs> say, why are you sleeping on earth? Get up, get up, get up. That's his own mantra. He says, when I die, what will I be doing? I'll be sleeping forever. I said, come on, no sleeping now that I'm alive. And he keeps walking. He doesn't sleep as well. Anytime. You know, I remember those days. He will call me 2 o'clock in the night. When I pick, he says, yeah, I just test you. Maybe you didn't sleep. <laughs> Sometimes I'll call him 11.30. When he picks, I say, hmm, giant, you're up. <laughs> and then we go, okay, you see what I'm saying about gathering people that are reasonable around you? And that's my own younger brother. That's what we do for ourselves. And also, I have a bishop that does that as well. Anytime, just call you by 2.30. When you pick, you say, hmm, I just want to see if you're sleeping. Because <laughs> we know they sleep. Anytime, two four seven, check out online. You see me there, twenty four hours for the past six years. It's like that. What am I sleeping for? I nap. I don't sleep, and I know how I should do it. I don't have a sleeping time. I can sleep anytime. Remember that one again. But when you walk, when I see that my body's tired, I can rest for one hour thirty minutes in between. Anytime it falls to, anytime I'm tired, one hour thirty minutes. I set my alarm. Pam, I sleep. Palm as a ring, I wake up. I walk again. If I'm not out for two days, I'm walking. I'm not sleeping at all. Because it's my body. I can't be preempting what my body is not feeling. If I'm not hungry, what am I eating? They will even call it uh, gluttony. That's the way some of us are sleeping too. You are oversleeping because you think, they, they say, it, the Bible says, money for work, night for sleeping. It didn't say sleep, it's resting. And resting is what? And he also said there is no resting for a lazy man. Okay, now you are not even lazy. Let's assume that. But if you are poor, <laughs> and he says a man that cannot provide for his house is worse than if he did. Of course, it's not your fault, but if you work harder a bit, maybe you can provide a bit. And I'm telling you, for example, now, I'm looking for a social media handler. I'm looking for article writers. As I'm talking to you, I have some companies here and there that gave me jobs that I can no longer finish. <laughs> I'm telling you, I need a lot of help. I know the likes of Jews are already helping me out, but that's just by the way. I still need like five more people. Because I need like 500 articles every single month. You can imagine that. So I've already done a proposal about that. Maybe tomorrow I'll post it to the group. So anybody that can write well. Because I'll give you one, you write. If it's bad, look, if that article is bad, forget. I know they entertain. Let's go, let's come. I know they that one. I'm not looking for beginners. If I begin and join the classroom, I'll teach you how to do these things like a pro. But people that have a good understanding about it, at least people that can just spend like 30 minutes and tell you what to do and you understand it. Those are the ones I can pick up. Uh -huh. Not that like because I see it now. A lot of people say, yeah, let me do it for you. No. And majorly the article writing. Because the, the, uh, okay. Hey, I can't put online the uh, people to handle the social medias. You have to, if I have to employ that, that has to come to my own house, like in person. But other ones, articles can be online. Okay. So if you can write articles, just reach out to me. And I will let you in. I will check you out too. Yeah, I, I, my own metrics is a bit. I don't expect you to write like me, basically, but at least write something that we can read. And I'll give you grammar. I'll give you quill books. I'll give you everything you need. So there's no, you don't need to pay. Yeah, just write my own article for me. Okay, let's continue. I media services five automatically completed two of my orders. The buyers have not given reviews for the job. I've told them, but they haven't respond. Is there a reason? Ah, you have successfully blocked that your account, sir. You are asking for review. It's against Fiverr rule. They are going to block that your account. Go and delete that thing. Ah, and you can't delete on Fiverr. Yo. One more night. Give me just one. It's not good to be a beginner or more. Ah, flop, Lily. <laughs> you, because either, you think it's automatic that people will review you. If they review, fine. They review, if they don't, fine. What are you look? Is review food? Did you have review before they came and gave you that order? Well, um, uh, you remember that today I said it though. Because they, you see, the father banning people. Somebody said in the group, he said it's like father is doing promo for banning people. Pa, 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 they're just banning everybody everywhere. And then you, you had two orders completed automatic there. And you're looking for the review. So you went and told them for review. Well done, sir. You go learn from this one. 
Don't ever ask for review. What's that? Father will tell you, you are soliciting for, for support that because you want to look like this, they'll ban you. I hope this one will not ban you because this is bannable offense already. If you have already typed it in that message that it will review you, you are already in Zoom. You are in Father Zoom. Father is looking for you to ban before. Best relaxation, meditation, and healing says you're making too much sense. Thank you. You know, reach my mind. Thank you. That one reached my mind. <laughs> Funny life of pets says, Good evening, sir, Pastor. Funny life says, Happy Sunday to everyone. Stephen Kolawale says, Ego e kale. Interpretation. Bros, good. Oh, what's Egbon? Senior. Egbon is senior. Senior, good evening. <laughs> okay, let me say it the way uh, people in Abuja say it. Senior man, good evening. It was in Abuja I learned that. They would say senior man. Best realization meditation healing says, You're so funny. I'm sure you didn't mean that funny like that. But me, I just added the jara to it. You're so funny. You see that? Funny of Life Pest says, uh, one of my short videos yesterday has gotten 695 views as of today. <laughs> Very nice. That's what we're talking about. I made that video four days ago, I think. Incredible. I can, if I have my time, I can create a whole short. Uh, if you're looking for audience, nice way to start. Create shots. Short, short. I, I make I do that itself, me. Because I have this anger that I created because of when I did that, I told us I'm going to create mine. But I've not posted anything because short video is easy to make. You can just tap your phone just like this and click it one minute. But then it has to, when you're making shots, look at me, it has to be like this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's saying I should rotate. So your shot has to be like this, not this way. Horizontal, right? You make your shot horizontal, not uh, vertical. Am I right? Yeah. Horizontal is vertical, not horizontal. Ah, Jesus. Uh, shots. <laughs> Your shots should be vertical, not horizontal. Uh -huh. This one you are looking at is horizontal. This is normal YouTube. Uh -huh. uh, shots is a bit on the straight, long between our own. Isn't what Omako Okolo says incredible? Joseph Obankole says true. Isn't what says wow? Joseph Obankole says correct. It's called social wealth. Of course, we are all into social media era. That's why the likes of uh, Facebook can become billionaires from doing nothing just by creating a platform for us to gather. The same thing Nairaland did in Nigeria. And I remember that I started Naira, Nigerian's forum, but I didn't push through because I know their mentor. As soon as I had a mentor, I would have continued. I had 3,600 users by the time I left it. Can you imagine my life in three months old? But that was 2011. I created my own forum, my first forum, 2011. And it was only in Ireland that was coming up then, but I don't know. Please ask your question. I'm going straight into questions. I have 30 more minutes, so I just want to go straight into it and finish up. Um, Sam Chidi Berry says, Hi, African Giant. Please, how do I get the Canva Pro you promised in one of your videos on Canva? All click on the links in the description of that video, but none worked, but no Canva Pro yet. Yes, there's no Canva Pro again. Uh, there is what we always do to eat that those days to get the Canva Pro. But I can't keep giving Canva Pro free for free for free. Isn't, that video is six months old, and everybody who are around then got that Canva Pro for that one one month that time. Now I don't go through that stress again. Just like I explained now, if you're following up with me, I was giving free things then, you know, when we were starting, so that you will know I'm the boss. <laughs> now you know I can do it, so there's no point doing it again. It's almost like that. It's a strategy for online business, just like I explained. It's not, it's not in personal. And it is what it is. And the truth is, I actually wanted to sell Canva Pro for five dollars, which I was still gonna do. I wanted to change. I wanted to add it to the shop, five dollars. These are tools now. Everybody is paying Canva Pro, for example, is fifteen dollars per month. I'm gonna sell five dollars. So anybody who really knows in this Canva Pro, which is incredible, they will buy. Ah, this name FT Reader. Maybe it's Farida, but it's FT Reader. I don't know if it's typographical. Ha! Your name is Weep, like crying. FT Reader Weep Abaka. It says hello. That's that's funny. That's the first time. I always see these names abroad when people bear fish, stone, you know. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen Weep. Okay. Funny life of persons. Wealth come 
Sam Chidi Eberi. Okay, welcome. They always, you know, people in our, in our group, they are very funny. The giants are turned welcome to welcome. Uh, good money is now money like money like cash yeah good money <laughs> i keep seeing those things and it, it cracks me up uh joseph oban college says yes boss okay emi lawa says good evening pastor b joined late tonight better late than never rotile says glad great to be here thank you very much alfred sofella says good evening african giant you know you have an army in us thank you for not being selfish with the knowledge god bless you sir Yes, sir. Double up. Yeah, is that how to double up? Whatever. I, I'm, I'm uh, doing boxing now in my head. I've not bought my gloves. I was supposed to go today, then I remember it was Sunday. They wouldn't open. So hopefully maybe tomorrow or next, I'll go and buy gloves and that big uh, thing that you hang on the wall and you'll be punching. That's the one I want to do now. I, I don't have time to be running around doing. And I like the fact that you can even punch. So whatever agony is in you, whatever pain is in you, whatever nonsense, you can punch it out on. You know when you're angry, ta 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 and I can really throw my hands. Like, you can see my speed. I'm supposed to be a boxer by bar. <laughs> no, when you're athletic, you're athletic. I play a lot of sports, a lot. Football, lawn tennis, badminton. And I play all these three for my school, so you should know that. And then, uh, two tennis. I don't know how to do board games, all this chess, scrabble. Because some people are, I had that like, maybe two or three times. People will say you should you that means you be very good at chess because I have critical thinking and I'm like no I don't even know what I'm not proud of that I, I don't know what I know what chess is I know there is king queen and then lots of pawns they call them why did they even call those things pawns eh? because you can't even say it in the presence of your children you eh, eh, you're talking about say, no 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 pawns like I bit the spelling is different is it is it ah. Just pardon my manners. I don't know. Is it pawn like P A W N or P O R N? I don't know. Please correct me. <laughs> I want to see which one it is. But I don't know how to play it. I only have critical thinking because I think I am. Um, since when I was in the uni, I had uh, thinking time. I don't know who preached it. It looks like Sam Adeyemi. Sam Adeyemi preached about thinking time, if I'm very correct of this. Was this Sam Adeyemi or this man in Potakot? Uh, or be a Yomir or something. Sorry, I, I, I'm not good with names. Be, be Yomir. I can type it, I can't call it. You know, I'm local boy from one Yoruba place. Those, so I still struggle with my words in terms of names. But then I, I think it's Obi Yomir. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry. I am extremely sorry. He was the one that spoke about um, thinking time. So since that time, what I do is every day, I might dedicate like an hour, no interference, no calls. Then uh, I remember I was doing phone call. That's how I mentioned no calls. It wasn't like there are phones. I think I was the only one that had the phone throughout all my hostel. Because I was doing phone call. It was on Nokia, I don't big Nokia at that time. And then I'll switch it off, I'll put up the light as if you are doing uh, personal whatever. I'll just stay on that and then I'll be thinking. Now ask me what am I thinking about? I don't really know. I just think. So I'm there, I'm just looking at my life. And the way I play it out is, I still do it today. I start now and play what my life should be by December. So I'm thinking, what should I have by December? What can I be proud of that I've done till December? So I just go ahead and do it. And then I keep quiet. I, I keep quiet, close my eyes, and imagine my life moving towards that direction it sharpens my intuition now anything i need <laughs> this thing i'm telling you is is incredible <laughs> go and try today you you will shock you think you are possessed because <laughs> as soon as you start going you know in your mind you are closing your eyes there's no light everywhere is dark put it in a dark place sit down on the chair i call that chair my thinking chair i still have it today and my children know when i sit on that chair even they say oh, what is dying you don't call me because if you touch me, the way I'm going to vibrate back as if I was in a trance. That's how I, I do on my thinking chair. Because I now think, and then I'm saying, okay, maybe you want a car. You'd be like, how do I get the car? In your subconscious, you're just going, what would I do? Then you just discover you're going. I don't want to enter that kind of mode. I thought people that will enter trance like that. You, can, you will enter trance that way. And then you keep going, you keep going. You just discover that. You may get to a space. You say, no, 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 that thing should not work there. 
that thing should not work there. And then it doesn't work. Then you say, okay, how do I do it better? See, if I'm to be sincere with you, I practically do not really always make mistakes like a regular person. That's why sometimes I am careful in judging people because if I judge people based on what I know, it's going to be too much on them. Because anything you have played before, don't wait for your dreams. Like, I have a dream and then it will just come to pass. No. Don't wait till you sleep. No. Open your eye like this. Close it by yourself. Don't sleep. And just start to imagine it. I was remember. I don't have a boyfriend. How will I do it? You have started though. How will I do it? And then you start doing it. Okay, will I meet him in church? Will I meet him in the marketplace? You just you discover you are wondering. Your spirit is going. It will lead you to the right place. They say, hmm, if I meet him, I'm not supposed to smile. Or he will try to hug me. You will try. You are just going like that. You are just going like that. That's how you go. When you come back to life and you come back, you are conscious. You have done what you will do to December. <laughs> just go ahead and implement it. You will break through. I got a very, very very juicy offer again this week and i keep telling you every week based on and then i was thinking is this how everybody gets offers on he said no that is you that is always getting done people are not getting anything apart from google assets i said google assets is the smallest thing with me and do you know where i got this one time i was watching one of these uh, european creators where he said google adsense is the smallest in a youtube and i'm like ah that's not what they told us we are always creating content because of youtube uh google adsense he said no that's the smallest. Then I started using these same metrics. Like I'm starting wondering, wow, where will people see me? What will I do before they see me? Why would, I was asking myself that question. And then my spirit was roaming. You kept going. That's why you have to be pure. You see, when you commit sin, as soon as you close your eyes and you go, where will you see this? You get that easy last year. <laughs> the lady you are tracing. I'm telling you the truth. That's, <laughs> go and try it now. You see, you see how good or bad you are. <laughs> you know, people don't tell themselves the truth. I watch this uh, program where they say moment of truth. That program is very terrible. They will plug machine to your body, ask you some questions. Then they will store your nerves and vibes. Then they will come back to the real sense to now ask you those questions. If you tell a lie, they will cut you off. Moment of truth, you can just Google it. It's a program where they will win maybe hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. They will just win until they get to maybe five hundred thousand or one thousand dollar or one million dollar or something. But if you tell a lie, you lose all the money. You must say the truth. And they'll be asking you very terrible questions. They ask one lady. This lady is terrible. Like, the day of his wed of her wedding, she was hoping that the former boyfriend was the one getting married to her. And she's getting married to another person. <laughs> and she cannot tell a lie. Because the husband, they will put your husband, your father, your mother, everybody will be seated though. When they ask you, that, that, I was used to that program. I don't know why, maybe online just took me away from my regular watch, watching things. Oh boy. After they have asked her this question, he, they will ask her, if you're having sex with your husband, do you think, you know that kind of, your husband is there, and then you're still thinking, it's another person doing it. Like, the girl will carry the face of the former boy. He said, you go, you come and put, <laughs> so do not look as if it's that boy that is doing it instead of the husband. She said, yes. Ah, everywhere, don't scatter. <laughs> After all of that, 500,000 questions. He now asked her, are you a good person? The lady said yes. That thing went, -na 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 -na. she lost all the money. <laughs> For God's sake, how will you call yourself a good person? After sleeping with another man in marriage? After thinking, you know, different, different, terrible. I can't even remember all the terrible questions they were asking this guy, uh, the lady. And then she said she's still a good person. <laughs> that thing just cut off. So that's to tell you that legitimately, Nobody will see themselves as bad. But you are bad. Unless you are living right. This is always nothing to do with uh, Christianity or whatever. It's all about you doing the right thing. If you do the right thing, your spirit will be clean. That's what it means. No excessive drinking. If I'm drunk now, can I even come here and talk? You just... You know? So, if you are clean, no unnecessary women, no unnecessary drinking, no unnecessary gossiping, no unnecessary waste of energy and burst of emotions. Everything is crisp. When you can do the thinking, you figure out what your life is. So when I say, what's my niche? What's my niche? Just go and sit there in one dark place. Close your eyes and say, what's my niche? Ask yourself, what's my niche? So what am I going to do? And then you are going, you are not talking, you know? 
You are thinking. You are, it's more of an intuition, a critical thinking. Your spirit will start wondering. You will get what you are supposed to do. <laughs> when we wanted to buy a land, when we wanted to build a house, when we wanted to rent a house, whatever I want to do, that's what I always do. I'll just pray. God, everything. Then I'll go and sit down in that place on my chair. And then I'll close my eyes. I'll start going. For another two hours. You won't even know where the time is going to be. You know that's the worst thing. You can be there for five hours. You won't know. Because <laughs> you just enter trance. You just go. Every house. You see this place I'm seated today. That's why everything will happen as if it has happened before. As I'm talking to you now, I remember I've done this before. Talking to people. Telling them about to use this. And like almost uh, 11 people broke through from it. And I can remember now in that dream. It's not a dream. It was that trance. I can remember now. And then after that, I got a big contract again. And then I said I could now give out those things I said I could give out. I remember now. You see, it's get, I'm getting close to the end of the story in terms of giving these laptops. I said every life I will be giving out a laptop. That's what I wanted since the beginning. So I've already used that thing to trace how we get there. So now when I'm praying, that's why my prayer is different from people's prayer. Uh, they will be, be abusing God. They have been praying for six months. I didn't get answer. Now you know the God where you deserve. Oh. My own, you know they do me like that. Oh. Something that I've seen. I say it's almost time, Lord. <laughs> it will come. It's, it's 100%. Forget. And even if it's not coming at the time I want it, I'm happy. Because I'm not losing anything. What did I bring to this world? Empty. What will I take there? Empty. So what am I shouting for? I'm just trying to get these things to happen. If I buy a laptop now, I dash, I say, oh, Jude, you are here. Take one this week. Next week, I say, oh, oh, Leo, Olani is here. Take this one. Next one, I say, oh, oh, oh. There's another wisdom. Go Take this one. Is it for me? Of course. That's the whole essence of humanity. But I enjoy that part. Because it makes me sleep well when I dash people things. That's just me. Let's move on. Andex Kush says, boss, Abdullah Simon says, welcome, Vitalis. That's when we ask to greet. Also, he says, please, sir, is there any problem on YouTube if I re-upload my TikTok videos on YouTube? Um, there's no problem, but it will not go, uh, except to remove that tag, that YouTube, that TikTok tag. Because YouTube will not pay you money for the shots, for the shots, unless if you are monetized already. So that's the problem with it. Us Training Vibes says, sir, how can I grow a new Instagram account? To get subscribers what can i do to grow my channel content frequent posting i have uh like eight instagram and i'm sure we know but i don't even get to all of them because i can't create all the content with everything i'm doing but you know before i got to this level that i don't have any time again at all i was always creating content when you are posting frequently on facebook other page or group and uh group is better than page anyway for organic growth and linkedin and uh, instagram you will have organic growth, natural. It will just be going. Funny enough, my, my own Instagram is on 4,000 something. I think it was 7,000 something before, but I don't post anything, nothing. It came back to 4,000. They were following me. The same person we started the same day, the same time. So today she celebrated 200,000 followers. But that one will post like eight times per day for the past like four years. She's on 200,000 followers now. Me, I'm on 4,900. <laughs> I'll be 960 or something. That's to just tell you, it's just posting. There's no big strategy about Instagram. Just keep posting every day. Maybe I'm posting, if you choose to post three times per day, continue on that three times per day. And then time will now tell. That's how it works. Mohet Bey also says, good evening, sir. Mohet Bey, your name is always uh, a point of interest to me. I don't even know if you are a man or a woman, but a man cannot bear Mohet Bey, unless you are Bobiliski's uh, cousin. <laughs> Alani SME says, uh, how far for website building? You said in the tutorial that after purchasing a domain name, when hosting on Bluehost, we must first log into WordPress before logging into the site. Please explain more. Am I sure I got this? If you want to, you know, the website we see on the front page is for the public. That's front end. The back end is WordPress. It, your website is WordPress. WordPress has uh, like 80% of the world's website. Is hosted on WordPress. It's like the best of the biggest. Like every website is virtually hosted on WordPress. Funny enough, I don't even know who owns WordPress. I've never thought of that before. I'm going to Google it today. Or you can help me Google who owns WordPress. Because I'm feeling maybe it's Google or something. Because that their power is too much. Almost 80% of the billion, uh, we have like, like 2 billion websites, they said, online. And 80% of it is owned by WordPress. 
Can you imagine that? So you log into WordPress. That's when you get to the behind of your own website. And that's from the behind. You put your images. You put your uh, posts. You put everything. You do your design. The, the, everything you do behind is what shows in front. That's how it works. The front end is different. The back end is different. But before you log into your own website, what your website means is logging into WordPress. Your hosting is virtual. It's not something that you see. You know, it's virtual. When you host on Bluehost, it's not like you hold it or you can see it. It's just there. They are the ones that fix it by when you register, you just host them on it. And that's all. Till next year when you have to pay. And you don't even do anything. Just pay the money. It renews itself and then you go your own. So it's just there. But it's the WordPress that you work with. That's the major thing. It's on WordPress you're going to put all your plugins. It's on WordPress you're going to do all your designs, all your blog posts, all your uh, Google Ads, uh, HTML. Everything is on WordPress. And then as you are putting it and updating, it will be showing in the front end. As I put it in our plate, we show in the front end. When we get to that, I'm sure it's in the class. Lani SMU is in our classroom, giant classroom. Uh, we're going to get to all of that. Moet B also says, Sir, please, how do I go about Blue Host tax information? It's really necessary. There's nothing in tax information. Fill your address, make sure the address you have and the name is correct. And then just put any random 10 digits number. You can put your international pastor's ID or your national identity card. Just put anything. I formed my own. I have Blue Host too, and I just put. Uh, I think I use uh, my first phone number, the 6565 something something, 728, I just put something there. <laughs> then I added to uh, like maybe A, capital letter A and L. You know, we don't have tax in Nigeria, that, so I just something, 10 digits, and it went through. Just make sure you have your address, because the address you filled, you can open your profile and you see the address. You have to follow that exact address, or if you are not comfortable with it, change the address, so that you have the same thing, otherwise they won't approve it. And then you need your PayPal. Remember, you need to get your money from PayPal. I get paid a lot from uh, Blues. Blues is fantastic. Everybody that signs through you gets sixty-five dollars. Everybody. So you can imagine sixty-five dollars, even if you have ten ten of that per month, that's six fifty, and that's affiliate. It's not like you have to do anything. So like me, I just create blog posts for them. I create YouTube channels, uh, YouTube this thing for them, and then the money start rolling. It's like that. Um, Bedo MSA, should we pay bitcoins? Ah, to be truthful, I don't do bitcoin. My wife does, I don't. Anything I don't have control over and it's going viral, I don't usually don't like it. I like, I'm like a old man in a young body. I just want to see my things. I like to hard work, so I don't like anything that comes freely. So somebody say, Come and put, I've never done investment where they cheated me, and they say, Put 100,000 here, you call it like, MMM. I know they do. If you like, say you are the owner of MMM, I will still not do it. I don't like getting free money. I don't know. My younger brother said that I'm not human, but I said that's who I am. I don't like it at all. I just want to work and get my money. That's when I am. I can spend it anyhow. It's not like you get one free money and then I fall sick. I think somebody used my glory somewhere. <laughs> nah, I just want to work my money. That's me. Okay. Kemi Slimon Akiola says, good evening. How can I make money as a beginner? I think that's what I've been explaining. You can also subscribe to this channel and like this video. That's where you will start the journey. So you can always see my videos. Next week, I'm going to do transcribing, uh, social media handling, and I have one beautiful website for affiliates. I'm going to do that as well. What else? Maybe that three, you know? And then we'll get to Sunday day. I'm not doing full seven tutorials like before. Monday morning motivations. All those things I've cancelled. That's why I'm doing a little bit of talk about motivation now. So to cover up for it. Okay. Funny life of pet says it's McDonald's. Oh, you are the funny life of pet now. You have changed your uh channel name. Very very nice. Isn't while Maka Okoro says, How do I join the group? Which of the groups? We have two groups. We have WhatsApp group and then we have the giant classroom group. So anyone let me know. Uh, that that's a lot of questions. Please put the Canva Pro in the shop already. Oh, and I wanted to ask that too. I wanted to say, do we need Canva Pro so I can just put it up five dollars? And Daddy too will make some money off that because for five dollars, for five, I'll just go and buy. That's the fear I had is if I buy the business, that's one thousand dollars, and then I now split it. Would I be able to? And I don't want it to be too costly because if I put ten dollars now, that's hundred people. But when I put five dollars, that's two hundred people. I might sure I'll get up to 200 people before the thing elapses in one month. I think that's why I was a bit skeptical about it. And I don't want to put $10. Because 
Plus that will not be five thousand. Because most of us will need Canva, we might need Grammarly, we might need Quibble. So I'm looking at the money, it might be too much. So I'm looking for ways to get it down. But assuming we can have volume, it will be easier for me. And I'm the one investing money. I think I did one like that that last time and it didn't work well. Like most people did not buy it. Bad business. <laughs> It's not able to make profit. I think let it just help us and get to that my money. No get, so I don't buy it again. But I'll put this one. I my mind was there like almost one week. I've been remembering this over and over. So I'm sure I'll do it. Amid Nureni says, "Great to be here. Nice to have you." Amid Nureni says, "This is my first time to listening to this great wealth opportunity." Wow, can you imagine that? A lot of people don't even know about the uh, fantastic way to make money online very easily from the comfort of your room. It looks like a joke, but it's really, 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 really working. All trendy vibe says, "Wow, thanks, sir, for the transcribing course you are to offer us. God bless you, amen." That will be tomorrow. I'm going to put that up tomorrow. Olaiwaji Oluwatobi says, "Hello, this is my first time watching you. You are really cool listening to Margaret to your elbow. I think I love you, male or female, please. I love you to all the same. Love of Christ. <laughs> That's my dad's church name. Love of Christ Ministries. Wow." Wow, 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 wow. That's interesting. This is this looks like a man. Okay. Whatever that my interpretation is. So sad. love is always good. There's no bad love unless it's misused. There's no bad love at all. Okay. Vitalis the Mago says pound. Uh -huh. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I knew I was messing the whole thing up. <laughs> I but I don't know how to play it. So you can't just be good at everything, which we realize. You see what I'm saying? So now, if somebody is teaching chess on his YouTube channel, and I love to know how to play chess, what do you think happens? I'll join. You see how this works? You start gathering an audience. You just gather audience like that. Okwe Emilawa says, David Ibiyomi. Thank you. Thank you. Ibiyomi. I listened to him for two years, non-stop, because then I didn't always go to church. I just put on the DSTV. I was in school then. Just put on the DSTV and then watch. Then our hostel had DSTV in Lautech. The hostel had DSTV. So we connected to every room. Like that's part of the hostels are expensive. At that time, we were paying 30,000 per bunk and we're like four in the room. Or there are, no, two. We now split it into four. Like we, are, we partnered 15, 15,000, but the authority will say 30,000 for two people in a room. Four of us now lived in that room. <laughs> just so that to reduce the money. So we had the STV. I was always listening to him. And then they had, I don't know, the uh, Salvation Ministries, I remember. And a lot of people would think pastors are not doing well, but you can imagine. I'm a pastor of a church, and you can imagine what I say. It's not, it's, if you are going to a church that don't, they are not saying the truth to you, now your fault. They know hit your bottom there by force. Because sometimes people are looking for what they get. Can you imagine going to a church and they are doing miracle there? Would I not leave the place? Who told you I'm looking for miracle? Am I looking for miracle? If I'm sick, you're here. I can't use drugs. If you know kill, make it dead yet. One day you go kill me, I will go heaven. Uh -huh. Why are you threatening me? You, when they preach, they do miracles. You know go that? So what this nonsense? I don't know. We are the ones creating this problem for ourselves. Then you will now blame the pastors. Did, we, is it by force? They say they are collecting money. Did, did they put gun on your head? Why are you going to a place they will bamboozle you with rubbish? Instead of teaching you the reality. If I'm this way to you, or African giants, can you imagine what I teach people in my church? I teach reality. Nothing. Reality. Those are the kind of churches you should go to, and there are thousands of people. I mentioned it beyond me now. At least this is, this is what it is. I, I see uh, this guy that won one Ayomaku uh, comedy, something, something. I can't remember his name. He had that that, that time. He caught it. Then he went to a B, a B. Sorry, I'm, I'm still struggling with the name. He be Yomi. Uh -huh. he Yomi. Let me cram it. It be your homie. Can you imagine a pastor I love so much and I can't really, uh, and I've been familiar with this name all through my life. Because tomorrow, if uh, everything goes well, those are the pastors I'm going to reference. And I'm sure the, I'm like the least person they can ever imagine they've ever touched their lives. Like uh, David Oedepo, Bishop, the same thing. Uh, Eneche, I didn't really listen to him. I don't even know until I got to Abuja. But really, really, I like him a lot as well. Who else? I think those are the real people I know. Apart from that, the and the Kumi, all the Jerodos are like Jagabans everywhere. But I'm, I'm thinking people a bit. I think those are the people I know. Aha, Sam Adiyemi, I mentioned his name. 
very powerful. Ashim Olowo too, I listened to him for his time. Because that was the time I had to study all the pastors. When I wanted to become a pastor, <laughs> I'm just used to it. <laughs> I needed to go around and see what every pastor was. I, I had to see everything. Till uh, Victory Chapel, and then there was this Mike Bamloye, the, uh, the person at Drama Ministries. Uh -huh. I had to see everybody. Everybody I know. A lot of pastors that you can't look. Till today, I see some pastors. I think there are more pastors in Nigeria than human beings. <laughs> and I'm serious about it. Everywhere you turn, pastor, this pastor, that pastor, I say higher. So most times, I like the way God patterned me because I didn't like it. Everybody is pastor. Like, during the era of Elijah and uh, Jesus, and uh, not everybody was pastors, but it's good that everybody's pastor, sure. But just like, <laughs> ah, I saw Facebook today, oh boy. People like this with my beard, prophet, pro small, small boy, so. Prophet, prophet, this one, prophet, that one. And I said, they go, they say, ah, I say, hey, if they leave you, come out you for church now, can you ever exist in this Nigeria? That's why they call all pastors fraud. The thing they pepper me. <laughs> I know it's not only that, the thing they pepper me. They pepper me too. They pepper me. I don't know how to stop that nonsense. Because, ah, somebody will just say, God, don't call her. No, 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 no. No, no background. No reason for the calling. No assignment. I know the assignment God gave to me. And this is 100% direct. Look at the way my life is shaping. Let me tell you the assignment. <laughs> so that, because when I'm saying this, most people are like, ah, why do you think you're that different? Oh boy, I know they are they different. And the reason for this is, he told me, he said, the way my people are making money, none of them will get to heaven. It's wrong. That was the first thing he told me. So I'm like, okay, so what do we do? He said, just like I said it earlier, somebody is selling products. Okay, I have this tissue paper here. Most time when I'm, I do a lot of uh, cold water. So, tissue paper is my friend. <laughs> you see, I got this tissue. Now, 14 naira, I buy ammo. Now, lie, yo. Now, 20 naira, I buy ammo. Wait, if you want to sell this tissue, just sell it. Why must you lie? And you call that business. No. And you're a Christian. You're a head in church. You're a pastor in church. If I direct. If that is the metrics. Do you understand? So, he said, tell them, make money the right way. Don't be envious of people that are making money the wrong way. Do you know how many people are like, eh? If that boy is my friend. So I always remind everybody. You have forgotten all of a sudden that people commit uh, adultery to raise money. You have forgotten that people are doing rituals to raise money. Some people are kidnapping. Why are you envious of people that have money? For what? Just run your race. Be hard working and make your own money. Legit. No cheating, no lying, no, no nonsense. So my own job is to say that. I'm not even saying any other thing much. And he said, do you know that almost 100% money is important? And look at the way he's doing me. Take care of Juguru, take care of Juguru. I became African giant. Take care of Juguru, take care of Juguru. What do you think is happening here? He's really pointing me towards what the calling is. So some people think calling is always staying in church, going to mountain to mountain. Are you not supposed to help humanity? What, what did Jesus do? Did Jesus just go and die on the mountain? No. He was there for 40 days and 40 nights. Three many times in his three and a half years of ministry, and even his three and a half years, where did he use it? It was normal. He learned carpentry. He had people in Paul, James, all the, uh, sorry, Paul wasn't there at that time. Uh, Peter, John, Mark, all these people were his own disciples. He had real people. But yeah, people are just doing Christianity as if, as if they gave back to them before Jesus came. And it's very wrong. Very, very wrong. Prophet this, prophet that. You don't have a church. You don't have anything. You just say, God call you. And then they start spilling things that are not in the Bible. And I'm like, ah. So what's in the life for Bible now? Your own con superior person. <laughs> That's why I like. And look at it. All the churches that are grown, that are fully grown, none of them is doing all this type of uh, uh, unnecessary prophecies. They don't. Ade Emi Sam, Ade Emi does not do. Ajimo Lewu does not do. Bishop Oyedeko does not do. Ade Boye does not do. Dunamis does not do anything. Go and look at it. Top, 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 top. It's always these mushroom churches that are halfway done, that have one, uh, one and a half uh, branch. That they will be the prophet this, prophet that. They will be seeing vision up and down as if as if we can't exist without vision. What is the vision for? What's the Holy Spirit doing if you, if you have to depend on a vision from someone before you make before you make it in life? And because somebody said that this all vision to me, I want to give glory to God. Last year I said I will make it and I make it. Go and ask them how did they make it? The richest man in the church I was pastoring before. When God told me this thing about uh, that assignment about people making money wrongly, I went to him and said, look at what God told me. And I know he's the richest man in our church that time. And he's also, <laughs> he's also an elder. So I said, Daddy, 
this one you look at what he told me so apparently he said he said it's true ah he said it's true that most of us that's how i knew that actually all these directors in place of he said sometimes they give you jobs to give people you are the one that will go and execute this yourself and then you make papers look as if people came for it do you understand so they do the, it's like make let me give you a job now like, let me do this drainage normally you are collecting salary you have your own job or maybe a, a contractor i give you your commission instead of you to do advert and give it to other families you will now go and do papers like seven bring the seven it's still you and then you you just approve one of them or two of them and you will still be the one to go and do it you see that that's what they were doing so he said instead of getting like maybe six million profit i might end up getting like 42 million because i'm the one doing everything myself so instead of blessing more families they take all the things and then they say they are they are rich they are building estates they are into politics and they will be here that and then they buy motor for because absolutely it was one about a cafe a pastor then a senior pastor it was one about the uh, mission land land for mission they are the ones that have the money but the money is not clean that's why they are giving it to church because they know he said pastor b i know so i said eh? so heaven or fire he said god will have mercy <laughs> so that point i knew that oh what god told me was true this this is a mission and that's what I'm preaching. Everybody go back to Christ. Go back to the original Jesus. Don't go to this generation social media Jesus. The pastors are racing to have more crowd. They no longer impact. See, the Bible talked about if you have 100 sheep and 99 is in house and one is missing. He said, leave this 99. Go in charge of that one. But here, are the, people are just, all the pastors are hyping about the volume of people they have. Oh, church, when they stay in church like this, and plenty of people. Uh, that's what they like. <laughs> Me, yeah, I don't. I want to go to heaven myself, so I'm not interested in anything earthly. I'm not. You are building seven, seven hundred thousand sitter for who? The one you have built. People that are there are they really Christians? You are not bothered about that one. You are still building extra one again. Anyway, oh, let's continue. Jude Christopher says I got my first five thousand naira athlete commission offline today. <laughs> okay, I know. I know a little bit about this. You know, if you get the narrative of affiliate marketing, you will understand that it's not online alone, and Jude did exactly that. As I'm talking to you now, in your locality, there are people that sell clothes. And you can see those clothes. The, the house is like three, four buildings away from yours. What he did was, you can just go into those clothes, snap them with your own picture in the morning, carry their thing out, tell them I want to be selling, how much is one? So they tell you, you say, no, give me the last price so I can make some profit. And they give to you, and then you start WhatsApp marketing, Instagram page. It should be you, you don't have money to start, but you can go to somebody near you, or any shop near your mom's shop, or near your dad's shop, or even anywhere. Maybe this person is selling cream. Go and franchise the cream and start selling the equivalent cream online. Name it your own name. By the time you are calling the guy seven times per day for cream, he would ask you, What are you doing? Where, where are you selling it? Because they have no no online. Now nah, Igbo boys then be Igbo girls where they train from Chinedu boss. Now you are the in generation, but you are not using your your that your exposure online, you are not using it. Now nah, news you take and they read. I'm big brother. You are following big brother. <laughs> I just remember that now. You are following big brother. That's the way you are doing. Instead of you to create something around it, create content around it and start making money. That's what Jude did. He told me like four days ago. I didn't even know he was going to make money that fast. Now he had made five thousand. Because I always say, these things are easy. If we really put our heart to it, I stop complaining or stop hoping. And I've told you about the church enough. So it's not like I'm blackmailing the church or something, but I'm just telling you, good, good is there, bad is there. There's nothing good that bad will not appear. Even the Bible says when God called the people in heaven that they wanted to have a meeting, the devil strolled and went there. <laughs> That's to tell you that anywhere that is good, the bad is going there. You will go and stay. It's you that will not allow for it. So just go around and, and figure something out. It's like that. And people, look, like all this, my decoration, this one, all these ones. I was looking for it on IO. I look, 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 I don't see anything. All the ones I was seeing, nothing looked like it. And I saw it in one of my friend's place. I'm like, I like this thing, though. I like this thing. No way I don't find Fabuja till I get them. I come back plenty. <laughs> so that I don't go, go, they go again. Do you see what I'm saying? And if somebody now in my list has these things on their DP, 
Okay, this coat I'm wearing, I bought it from uh, one of our friends on DP. You know why? I had seen this type of clothes, plenty, but they are always fake. I know fake clothes. When you see them, you will know that this are not the original. And me, I, 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 know, they, I know they wear fake things. <laughs> After all, the people will say life is vanity and so make I enjoy make I enjoy my wool. This one is wool like this. Wool, like it looks as if the wool. You know that shawl they used to carry baby. That's how it's feeling on my body. You can see I'm even touching my because it's cool, like it's really unlike this one that they also like uh, like the one the organizers wear, you know. But immediately I saw it, I knew. I asked when I asked, is it wool? He said yes. I said bring me three. Maybe you have noticed that most of the time I just and it looks cool. Most of the videos, when I appear in it, I'm like, this is better than even my suit. And I just switch to it. Brand. <laughs> Maybe we do brand. <laughs> Village boy, you know, they all great. It's so small. But I'm just telling you, and she sold it. Now, I'm sure that day she didn't know she was going to sell three pieces. I just sent money. I said, I didn't go there. I just said, send, send it to my stuff. And that's how it's easy. That day she has sold. And if she has more good things, now we know ourselves, we can quick buy. And me and they buy plenty. Because we have children, plenty of children and wife as well. So you see what I'm saying? And if she, I'm 100% sure that she didn't have a shop. You don't have to worry about That's drop shipping now. That's affiliate marketing. Just go to anybody around you. Creams, hair, hair. You can do everything together. Name yourself a name. Go to Instagram. Start posting about it. Funny enough, Instagram does not pick people up for posting the, the content. So you can even go to another page, download every of the thing on their page, tag it in your own name, be putting your own logo, and you're posting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you go do? Nothing. You see what I'm saying? Um, all 25 says, sir, since I created my five account almost a month now on article writing and articles and typing, I haven't gotten a job offer yet. Change your keywords. If you have not gotten your fast, change your keywords. That's the best way to it. Or landing your semu. Oh, I'm too fast. I'm too fast. Uh, where did I stop? Okay, Olani SME says I have completed a course, Fundamental of Digital Marketing on Google Digital Garage. Yes, I thought that long time ago. I hope we saw it. And I've gotten the certificate. Sir, how can I get remote jobs with this certificate? Kindly assist me. There is a, the, the video I dropped yesterday. In the description, I put two uh, links there. Or remote job and work from home those two will be massive for you i have more but i'll create another content on that i have more you know these remote jobs are like plenty so depending on like the transcription jobs too all the platforms i will mention there there will be jobs for digital marketing as well fiverr upwork uh guru.com freelance.com all of these places have these things and you can create your own website as well or create a page on your website now, if you are going to blog, if this is your service, you can start blogging about digital marketing. But it's just like a big niche that <laughs> you can't rank in it. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> to rank in digital marketing, that means you are competing against the likes of Neil Patel, who has been on this for 12 years, blogging for 12 years. They are number one, 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 and all these uh, AREPs uh, and SEMrush. That's digital marketing now. You, I'm not sure anybody can cope with them. You just blog and blog. You won't faint before you go group. That one is going to be difficult. Jude Christopher says, Dreams are not what you see when you sleep, but it's what will never allow you to sleep until you break through. Uh, motivation, I be that one. Dream now when you sleep, you see dream. <laughs> dream when you sleep, you see dream. Now, this one way you to talk now. Motivation <laughs> It's when you sleep that you dream. It's not what you see that will not let you sleep. Who told you? I don't know what you mean. Any that's worry now. It's only worry that will not let you sleep, sir. I don't, maybe I'm overthinking this because that's another negative of critical thinking. Either you overthink or you. It's too. Overthinking. I can't remember it. I thought this thing so funny enough. I thought it like three, four days ago. But you know, when I want to teach, before I teach, I'll go, I'll type, I'll put down my thoughts and all. So when I'm teaching, I can just speak. But this one, I can't remember. Overthinking is one of the dangers of critical thinking. If you don't know, you can think too much about something and it becomes harmful to you at the end of the day. But then, when you sleep, you dream. But you say dreams are what you don't will not make you sleep. That might be correct, but I think worry is what doesn't make people sleep. Because, like I'm talking now, if I'm tired, I will go and sleep now. I won't say because I have a dream, I want to kill myself. Even if it's two hours, I'll rest again and come back. Hard work is different. But whatever. 
you will get the gist and you get my own gist too <laughs> maybe they mix them up like that <laughs> leo arania says nice out nice one at jude christopher with the 5k offline uh free marketing i think wisdom gochuku says good job bro for line of says good evening sir jude christopher says sir i got an offer on linkedin from a new affiliate program from singapore asking me to work for them as their affiliate manager because they saw my profile and my content jude is the one that i said is writing content for me as well is the first person i contacted see this thing is simple jude wrote something about uh giant alert classroom it was marketing giant alert classroom as far as you marketed it i saw the article i liked it that's it's as simple as that i'm a writer when somebody writes well i know so when it came up now that i needed people to write for me the first person i called was jude first after him i would called five people three of them i removed remaining two and i needed like five or ten people to do the writing because 500 articles is a lot so i said okay let me get more people that's why i'm making this advert tomorrow in the group but he is still standing at least he had written one he sent me one yesterday i checked it today it was okay and i gave him another one like another set maybe five that he has to finish in a week because minimal you have to write like one article per day so if you can write 10 per day whatever you get the money but i'm just saying and it's good now look at him he's saying i got enough as an affiliate he's the one that sold offline is he not making his wealth coming up already he just needs to learn the nitty-gritty of building on it and he becomes wealthy and he's not an old man no? because some people would think maybe you is one old person Jude is not old aha uh -huh. christiana celestine says the person that owns wordpress is matt mulengwek i never even heard this person before ever i'll look into it wow wisdom go to said the same thing matty charles mulengwe i've never heard that name before you see this is where we are plenty so but it just occurred to me like wordpress is powerful man very powerful can you imagine somebody who was wordpress will still be working like we are working until you get to that level when you create product and your product becomes a service that's when you make it heavy that's where we are going andy a media says please how can i make money online just check this uh channel you see everything there Sunday Matthew says, how can I create a blog? I have a whole tutorial about it on this channel. The way you type it, just type African Giant out to create a blog. It will give you the video. And then you see it. Okay. Uh, Sam Fikayo me says, hello, African Giant. Help me make money online. Of course, the help is just to show it to you, but you have to be the one to do the work. And uh, if you follow all these things I've been saying and more on the channel, you definitely do it. Because this type of question is just broad. I don't even know where do I start from. But if you're asking tailored made questions, then we can help out on that. And the media says, please, how can I reload YouTube video without making my own video? I don't teach all those things. I don't like it. You know why? Creative Commons are the best option you can use. But that means you have to do what they have done. You can't just sleep and have an idea and create it. And until you have ideas, that's when you can really create and make something good out of things. It's that simple. Please create your own content. Create what you can create forever. Because what, okay, now let's assume like we did for YouTube Shorts. We imagine uh, videos about cats and dogs and about cats and dogs. And then after we have done that for 100 times, we, there is no more video on Creative Commons to add. How do you not get videos? You stop creating or you'll be repeating video again. You see where the problem is? There's no, this is my face. There's no day I can stop creating unless I die. Even if I die, I will tell people, put camera on me. You are still creating. Michael Jackson made more money than people that are alive, even in death. Put camera on me. You you guys will still be making money. <laughs> you see that funny thing? Continue. Even in my death, I'm creating whatever. If you are coming to my very high grand, come with camera. That's the narrative. Create content to favor. It will always sell. People will always have a reason. They will follow you up and be your audience. Then you can sell something to them. Generational wealth. It's not a case of your dying. Look at all the celebrities. They're creating Instagram pages for their children. They're driving traffic to be a child that is two years old. They already has 100,000 followers. You see what I'm saying? They, they, they know it. We now that we are the one following them, we know no. That's why the rich become richer, the poor become because we don't always tap into what makes money. It's always like that. In politics now, you now you're in your state, you are the one fighting for counselor. Why not become the counselor yourself? Why are you behind the counselor? What are you doing behind the counselor? And you went to school. What are you doing behind the chairman? Or guy, if I'm behind you, that means I'm learning something. If I know what I'm doing, I don't need to be behind you. I'll be your rival. So next time when I'm coming to the table, you are like, don't let him sit down there. It's a stupid man. I'll tell you, it's you that you are stupid. Next time when you enter, you you give me some money. Is that not to become big? Can you become big by becoming small? No. When you are big, you see the way I'm talking about pastors? 
You think I'm afraid of anybody? Even the, the pastors I had when I was in school, does it mean I will not be referencing you like that? No, I reference God. Beautiful, but I respect you. Don't cross my path. I give it to you because what I know is you, you said you don't know him. You sabi reach somewhere past uh, before me. You know me say you go sabi past me. Do you understand? Because of your age, you are older than me. That's why you could speak to me when I was younger. At my age, I'm speaking to younger people that will still become better than me. So I am going to be better than you. That's the simple truth. Because maybe you are sixty something. We are coming behind you now. Now we go talk whatever you do. The one behind us go talk loss. Now so year in year out. That's how it will go. So I respect you, but not like worship or praise and worship you. Not that. You see what I'm saying? So please make the videos yourself. Create based on what you know. That's way better off. And it attracts brands. That was the problem uh, Daniel Ozu had before. If you know who Daniel Ozu is, because nowadays look at him, you see him showing his faces. When he first started, I think he was small. He wasn't too confident. I think he started like three or four years ago. I don't know. So he wasn't confident about you know coming up and showing his faces on the camera and all. He was looking losing out on brand deals. And his brother was always showing his face. So the brother started getting brand deals more than him. And that was why he also starts showing his face now. If you look at him, he's always showing his face now. Of course, everybody wants to know who is behind the voice. It's not by just hanging and be doing faceless. Faceless will work perfectly in some niches, and it may not work well in some other niches, apart from Google AdSense. And with time, you know, your, your long throat too will grow. <laughs> if you start YouTube now, you start making 500 dollars like, go plenty for your face. Later, 1,000 will be nothing. I remember on Fiverr now. The very first time I made 1,200, I was very happy. When I made 2,400, I was like, eh? 1,000 to come be like, say, no, be money. You know, I got to a time when you make $6,000 to look. That's the level. People don't know. That's why some people say, I just sure they are making that money. It's a lie. Of course, we are. And it's no longer a lie. You know why? Because when we started with $300, $500, it was big money too. But you, at some point, it's like when I make $3,000 now, I will just bust it to cry. <laughs> For what? It's not like I will spend the money. I can tell you all the money I made this year. I have not touched any of it. Because we've been working all these years now. So the money they pile, they go front. But the thing is, we, this class is now looking like nothing. Because my aim is, if one time I've made 18,000 in one, 30 days, all of a sudden I now make 7,000. I'm regretting because I'm like, ah, oh boy. <laughs> That's the way life is. Your long throat will never end. No matter how much you make. I think who are back, I still looking for more money. I just throw the money. I throw his name in between. You see? Because there's no day you'll be tired. Tino Gusev you know, is looking for more money. I've used more than two hours today. My wife said, said you that you're always saying two hours, that you use more than that. I want to now rush. No just thing again. Okay, Mila says, please, can I request for article on Giant Shop and how much is it? Yes, you can request it there. You see the price. I can't remember the price off my head now, but you can request and you get it. Sunday Matthew says, can you make a video on how to create a blog using WordPress step by step? I have already made that. It's on this channel. Everything is on this channel. We can see that. Just put African Giant blog or WordPress blog or something. You see it. There, or you can chat me, I will send it to you in person. Olari Waju Oluwatomi says, As a man, the most essential thing I love about you is that your word is more a less Jesus and not escaping that part. I'm following you up, bro. Okay, uh, I think I've, I gave my life to Christ in 1995. So, for those people who think I'm just maybe I'm a new generation now, pastor, <laughs> it's just, the, the, the thing is, I think my look is what gives me away. Because one, everybody that has a blonde face, they call it camera face. So you kind of look like a celebrity, uh, like somebody, something people are used to. This is the kind of face that works online. If you don't know, if you have a round face, you won't be a camera person. You can see me in person now and don't like me. It's possible. You just uh, see now the actor with this. Thank God that we get more height. As me, I'm short. You might not like me at all. Because you are like, uh, be this. <laughs> you know? And it's not like I'm funky or something or that's crispy. I don't live in Africa, I'm American, so my, I'm not clean, clean, clean like that. But the only thing is, I can't shave because my skins are soft. That's why you can see, the fact I'm not sleeping, you can see the mark on my head. <laughs> if you're not sleeping, because you are working on the computer, you do like this so much, and then I start having squeezing head, faces and all. I can't shave. If you put clipper here, tam, you think I'm in Pamai 3. <laughs> That's why I have beards. None of my family members has any beards. But I don't know. My, I can't shave. This is my hair. I can't cut it. Even if you give me one billion dollar, I can't cut it. Because I see, virtually all my friends are bald headed. Their own hair starts from somewhere. <laughs> I remember my friends. I always make jest of them, actually. Their own hair starts from somewhere like this. 
and I was like, ah, why with this secondary school? You're here complete. Who chop up? So I don't allow anything cut anywhere from this my front because I don't want to be bald. So I just start from small shape in here and I reduce a bit from it. That's why I look swagger. Otherwise, I am a full born bred born again Christian. As you're looking at me, I just have a bit of swag. That's just my own. So and I'm not even always parading myself as pastor. I am a pastor of a church, of our church by ourselves. So it's not like we have senior pastor anywhere. We call the shots, everything. All these hundred thousand members I'm talking about, God gave them to me and they are pastor. It's not like I have a senior pastor I'm referring to. Uh -huh. No, not that. But it's just nature. This is my own nature. And then you can just accept me like that. Or if you want pastors that are so referent, God bless you. Uh -huh. There are plenty of people like that. Me, I'm not. I'm like the jiggy, 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 jiggy. <laughs> kind of pastor, playful person. It is what it is. That's why God created a lot of uh, disciples. So if you like Peter, you go after Peter. If you like Paul, you go after Paul. If you like uh, Mark, you go after Mark. It is what it is. Next, Sunday, Matthew says, please, can you create a step-by-step? -step? I've, I've, I've read that. You sent it again. Yes, I've created that. Wisdom, Gochiku says, you are really, you, you're saying the realities are, okay? If a good seed says, do you encourage using VPN to create USA account? I understand USA account sells faster. I don't have USA account. None. Never. It's all about service. Freelancing sites are marketplaces for services. It has nothing to do with your country. Poor English for them. You forgot that your English is not US English. <laughs> when you write that article and they read and they say, this person is for Pakistan, they'll give you minus one star. <laughs> That's when that US will spoil. So the best thing is you're good. All my gigs, everything, all my profiles, all the... Now I stabled on five before I add up to nine. Now the five I stabled on, nothing is all there. And they are all selling. They sell as much as my power no even reach to cover them again. And that's how we make bulk of the money. Okay? That's bulk of my money is from uh, freelancing, from Fiverr. That's it. Because Fiverr alone usually do me four or five thousand every month. So, <laughs> so even if I don't do anything again, uh, how much are they spent for gossip? I'm not a, a polygamist. I have <laughs> just one wife. So, well, that's okay for any standard. And then we we'll now talk of the brand deals that we get, start of sponsorships, part of affiliate marketing, talk of the blogs, talk of YouTube channels. So you see, like, pa, 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 you can get to $20,000 very easily. But the work is, the work no be here. Because <laughs> we have seen it. The work no be here. But it's worth it because I'm seated in my house. So whether I feel head pain, I feel leg pain, I'm still in my house. Like I always say, if they say, they want to sell Nigeria, I'll be the last person they will sell because I don't go out. Nobody will see me. <laughs> I'm the last person they will sell in this Nigeria. Because before you see me, unless you come to my house, yeah, yeah, you can't just sit like that. And if it is church time, look, drive room to church, drive room back. That's all. That's my itinerary for a whole week. I don't go anywhere. And it's only now that, uh, you know, pressure of go out on Sundays that we are managing. I didn't go anywhere today. So that's better off. So I don't encourage VPN. That's just the whole story. Hot Trendy Vibe says, please don't be offended. I didn't really get your explanation clearly. If I have a new YouTube channel that I don't only, that I do only YouTube Shorts video, can't it be monetized if I'm able to hit 4,000 hours view? Capital, no. YouTube Shorts do not go towards monetization. But the beautiful thing is, when you do YouTube Shorts, it will still be shown on browse, uh, search, and all these stuff. It will still show. So you have to, if you do YouTube Shorts, that means you're only looking into affiliates and maybe later monetization. All YouTube Shorts, they, they don't get monetized like it does, unless you have a monetized channel. Like this African Giant is monetized. I can put shorts on it and they'll pay me. I make an example with the short I practice. I don't like shorts. I don't like one minute. I wait, I want to talk for one minute. Even when I'm on live, I talk for three hours, three hours, 30 minutes. And I'm not even sad. I can talk for three days nonstop. You know, I'm a pastor, I'm a teacher. Wait, wait till we remain. And I talk, talk, be our job. So I don't, uh, but for affiliate reasons, you know, anything you speak about, you know, God, then another thing is, let's say now to get your 1,000 watch hour, whatever is difficult. Or you can do shots to attract maybe 10,000 people or 5,000 people or whatever. If, if they like you, it's easier for you. Okay, now, the day I opened the giant uh, tube, which is the YouTube channel that I opened for training only YouTubes. 
only YouTube. You know, if you want to go to YouTube, that's what I opened that for. You just discover what that okay. I just said it in one of the videos, and when I got there, I had 98 people or 96 people or there already. And just one time, I just mentioned that. Oh, and if you like, it was from this YouTube shorts that I made that video. I just said, if you want to do, let me go open this one. We'll be doing it there. And I just said it, and I got 90 something people one day. So if I do another video again, I do it again, another 90 or 100. If I do another, before you know it, 1,000 subscribers done. So you can do that for your YouTube shorts. You use YouTube shorts to gather people, and then you can refer them to something else. It's their your audience. There are people that like you. Anybody that subscribe to you like you. I don't even need to ask you if you like me. I know you like me. Or do you hate me? <laughs> because we know they know. Nobody with them if you know you. Do you hate me? You hate me and you subscribe to my channel. Hello. Anyway, Richard Patrick says, Good evening, sir. I watch your video on YouTube Shorts. I've created a channel on Shorts. Wonderful. And I've started getting subscribers and views. I have about 1,000 views thanks to all you do, sir. Can you imagine that? Like, like this is great. I didn't have 1,000 views for a whole month. One full month. If it is not short, it's not short. It's only short. That, and... Look, if you have a short shelf, if, if your video goes on short shelf, it can get you to 10,000 views. Unless you are not good. If you are good, people will subscribe. That's it. That's why I always say, go to the mirror. Talk to the mirror. Get your swagger back. A lot of us are still watching now, and this is two hours, 20 minutes, and it's a one-man show. I'm the only one talking. Nobody else is talking. And it's still interesting. Because why? I know how to... If I'm preaching, this is not what I do. <laughs> because all of us will be like, yeah. I'm like a man of many colors. All this that I'm doing, if I'm preaching, I don't do it. Though. If I'm in the spirit, I, I'm a pastor. Like, But when I'm here, I know you have to put some fun and make it interesting and do some kind of... And I'm doing it because I have practiced it over and over and over and I know it works. And I keep doing it. The channel has like six minutes watch time, average watch time, which is high. Even places like VidIQ, they have four minutes. So sometimes I'm looking at myself like, ah, even people that are doing entertainment, they don't have six minutes. But me, I'm teaching and I have this 60 minutes. Like, what am I? But his personality, is your swag, is your voice, the way you, you know, all these things you will have to learn if you are creating content. That's the whole essence of that uh, tube, uh, giant tube that I opened. So I can teach all these things. Don't just say, I'm doing YouTube. They are not following me. Give me strategy. Which strategy? You will looking for strategy. There's no strategy. It's you. You are the strategy. There's nothing like algorithm. You are the algorithm. Anywhere people go, algorithm go there. That's the algorithm. If we are here now, 41 people are online now. Assuming we are 420, what do you think YouTube will do? Eh? What are they watching there? There are 420 people are there. If we go and carry the video, I'll be showing it to more people. Because YouTube's whole essence is to put people on their payroll. They want people to come and see adverts. That's the whole essence. Forget anything anybody's telling you. What concerns YouTube with uh, tutorial or uh, entertainment? They just want you to create content. Let's put adverts. Let's put they have more adverts that they can shave out. So they are looking for new content every day. They can't just come and beg you in your house. That's how YouTube says we can put content on creators that have not been monetized. Can you see that? When you start creating, all this is your short now, you see, you see advert on it. You never monetize it, but they are putting the advert because YouTube needs to put advert. Billions. YouTube made 38 billion dollars last year alone inside Corona. 38 billion. Profit. And if they calculate how much they give to people like us, last year I didn't make any money because I wasn't even on YouTube. You know, billions of dollars. And you, you are there saying there is no money in your country. There is money. See, if you gain only $500, 500 500 is how much now? With 537 That's like 300000 no? 300000 sir. To create content, to press record on your phone. The same phone that you have now that you are not pressing record. Oh boy, if it's not your children, begin record them. If you are shy, record your, record your dog. Record, record anything. Please, please. Make the content. You got an audience. Then you monetize it. Malone Florida says, I just came online. Welcome. Jude Christopher says, but sir, they're asking me to submit my CV, and that's why I'm confused. Don't be confused, Jude. If you say you want to work with someone as an affiliate or whatever it is, you need to submit a CV. So if you don't have to write a CV, Go to Fiverr, ask them to write for you five dollars, or you go on YouTube and learn how to write a good CV, and that will do it. Okay, Vitalis Dimago says your article job order. Is there any benchmark on the number of words per article? Two thousand words. 
It's going to be between 2,000 to 2,500 because I know when you get it back to us, we have to edit. So you must write above 2,000 so that when we're editing, we might have to remove some things, pull us, so that it's not good. The, the benchmark is 2,000. You must write 2,000 words. Um, Kelly Pan says, African giant, please can you create a step-by-step -step video on Digi Store 24, how to get VAT and tax ID for registration? I have done that already. Go to this channel and type African giant Digi Store 24. You see it there. I've made this already and I have a Digi Store, although I don't, I have not. <laughs> you see, the way we are looking for all this clickback, it doesn't matter. You don't even know what to say there. Or what to, I don't, I've not used my Digi Store. I've gone there, I calculate the link, but you know, I have, see, there are some incredible places that you don't even need digital or anything. That won't give you any problem. They are like, I think I did a tutorial on it. They are self-publishing, independent athletes. That's the one I target majorly. Because you can't be looking for what will ban you one day. For example, Gleba can wake up tomorrow and ban you. There's nothing you will do. Fiverr is even banning. Anybody can ban you anyway. But you see all these other athletes that are independent, they will not ban you. If you have a problem, you can contact them through customer care. They will still listen to you. It, I prefer that to using back channel to go and open one click bank that when they ban me, I can't even talk to their customer care. Nah, I can't be wasting my effort on I'm too grown to be hustling around. That's why I waste my energy on doing content. I write blog posts. After that, I do YouTube. I prefer that. Let me waste my energy than wasting my energy. Mm -mm. When I have this audience, I'll look forward to sell to them. Even if it's a course, you can sell. You see, to get athlete is not difficult. But if you are first looking for affiliates, when you get it, I wonder where you get people to buy that thing from you. Then you'll be frustrated. So you are going about it the wrong way. Look for audience before looking for what to sell. But most people are looking for what to sell, which is the reason for affiliates. Wood can give you links easily. Warrior Plus can give you easily. I'm still going to make tutorials about those ones. I checked my Warrior Plus account and I saw some money there because I really do not promote them. And I said, mm, okay, maybe I will not do it now. I'm convinced. <laughs> because I always try everything now before I teach. So I'm confused about that. Um, where was I? Yoruba Flick says, hello boss, well done. I can't wait to watch um, African tube tutorials, more blessings. I've started releasing, it's giant tubo. It's not African tubo. They don't use Africa, I swear for me. It's giant tube. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alani Sam Samu says, in your tutorial on PLR products, you said PLR product is not plagiarized as no one owns them no 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 no. you it's like you did not hear what i said i said no one they won't uh pick you for copyright content not plagiarism or even if you write content yourself today and you put it on your blog tomorrow is now plagiarized when google crawls it is not copyrighted not plagiarized though maybe if i said plagiarized that one a huge error but i don't think so i'm not sure i should admit that kind of error no, and you're the first person pointing it out PLR do not have copyright. They give it out to you to use, but you have to repurpose. That's why I treated the repurpose now. When I treated how to make money from PLR products, I treated how to repurpose the PLR products. You have to repurpose. You can't just use it. For example, you carry a book from PLR, you put it on Amazon, Amazon blocks you off. That's all. But if you repurpose it, it will go through. You have to repurpose. That's why I made the repurpose. Uh, but you said, advise us to write our own content. As Google, we know the product is rebranded. Yes, if you rebrand, I thought about this rebranding because especially for articles, not books. If it's a book, Google does not even carry book. It's only articles. Original content is a big deal on Google. So when Google has seen something before and crawled it, and you now repurpose it, it's the same, the same way, nothing changes. And Google is crawling it. Google knows that this thing have crawled this thing before, even if the words are not plagiarized. And it will not push you uh, to the front of whatever you want to rank for. So what I'm saying is, maybe the first, let me say insurance. Let's say I want to write about insurance and I copy from PLR. So I go like, maybe the person introduced insurance like uh, when he got insured, he didn't know there is human insurance. That's his own opinion. Me, I won't say story. I'll put another story. The first time I bought my car, I didn't know. You know, a car and a human being, they're different. So Google, when Google wants to go and see a car, he has not seen that before, hmm, original content. Even if the next one is the same thing like, what is insurance? And then you are changing that what is insurance. You know, Google cannot just say, it's, Google doesn't crawl. It's crawling one by one, like titles or titles, but it does not deal it separate. It deals it as an article. So it's coming up and sees this, and then it sees the next one. It sees the next one, it says this one is copied. So even if it's not plagiarized. But maybe after you wrote what is, the one you used as number seven here, you push it back to number two. You alternate it. So Google 
it changes. Okay, he has not seen that before. You see what it means by repurposing, and then maybe in between you put uh, a graphics, maybe a, a, an image, and you optimize it. You do the alt text, you put it there. So Google sees are different. Okay, then you go to the, the thing in that book again. Then the next one, maybe you put a graph or something, just to <clears throat> change whatever. Just that's the purpose now. You just twist it, twist it, twist it, and then you have your own brand new article. Google cross you. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Say this is sweet. Push you forward. Bam. It goes to the next one. Oh, and you put your in between link, inbound links. Because when Google is crawling, you it reaches your link. When it finishes crawling, Google starts going to your link one after the other. Like it's clicking your link to go to the next one. It's clicking your link to go to the next one. It crosses out one. It clicks the link inside out. That's how it's faster. You see, this is I'm saying it's not something I can just be talking like this. It's a lot of work on blogging. You need your outbound links, inbound links, make sure they are not broken, make sure they are well arranged. So somebody looking for what is insurance, what's the next thing he's going to look for? Maybe how to get insurance, what's the next thing to look for? Maybe how to pay for insurance, the next thing to look for. That's how you been. When I'm writing articles, I don't write articles one, 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 one. I show you my system now. Sometimes I can have 150 topics and for three days, oh, I didn't charge this thing today again. Why am I always forgetting this thing? Oh, sorry. I need to plug my phone. The phone even tried today, Zef. You know, quick that. Okay. So you you um this is not long enough. Do I have to change anything? Ah. People know. Let me let me adjust this thing. The charger no reach. No. Okay. Let me pass it like this. Aha. Okay, got there there now. Let's go. Thank God I saw it. Sometimes there's a way God just peeps our high. I had no reason to see that. <laughs> it will just don't turn, turn, I go off. It's like, what's wrong? Or did anybody blow Pastor B? Oh, sorry, African giant. <laughs> okay. So, like I was saying, it's not something I can just can teach like this. I know I must do a blogging masterclass. Forget it. Blogging is sweet. If you know it. It's the easiest way to make money. And it's the most passive income that you can really continue to make money even in your sleep. Because you don't need to write every day. The ones you have written that has run, they don't do. If you start making $2,000 on a blog, that's all. There's no days coming back unless you did not write original content. Because sometimes Google will just bring one more, more update. It will just punk everybody out. Especially if you are doing affiliate uh, links. Google loves informational content. So if you make it more of informational content and put Google advert, it will sell. Very well. At least for people of us in this uh, type of the country, it's not like you need plenty of money like that now. If you have two thousand dollars, <laughs> because one thousand dollars is like five hundred and thirty something thousand. If you have two thousand dollars every month from blog posts you've written since last year, <laughs> that means you can write second one, third one, fourth one. That's how we got to twenty one now. We just continue writing that way, and it's always work. Um, Zion Edge Limited says, "Hello, sir. I just try." registering on blue host and they want my paypal email address of course it's paypal i said that earlier go to channel you see how to open paypal easily and how to do, make money from that to your country in your country i mean nigeria or anywhere um andy from pom says hello and the from pom says sir what's the easiest way to make money online freelancing freelancing is the easiest way it's not affiliate marketing affiliate marketing is very difficult i don't know and it doesn't even pay unless you have a crowd so they say affiliate marketing, you will link now, nobody to buy from you. But assuming you have uh, like where people are coming to, like I say, on this YouTube channel, any link I put, it sells easily. Because when I teach you, I have a bit of traction. Everybody will click on it and buy, and then I make small money. You see how it works. And then I keep producing content every day. And that's how it works. Apart from Google AdSense, even pay me. The same thing happened on blog. Google AdSense will pay you, Ezoic will pay you, AdTribe will pay you, depending on <coughs> what your level is on blogging and what you're going for but freelance is easiest create a gig have a gig if just learn it because the way we talk about fiverr and upwork you have to learn keyword research that's the main thing apart from the skill you are going to render you need to learn keyword research on fiverr and how to rank your gigs and if you rank a gig and you are not good about the job it will still backfire because at the end of the day when you don't do a good job they'll give you bad reviews and nobody will say bad reviews and still come and give you a job except Maybe the person is a newbie and does not know how to check reviews. So that's the simplest way. Because if you do YouTube, you have to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 a watch hour. I don't think that's easy. I did it for one month, nine days before I got to mine. And it was... 
You see, that one more nine days of December was the most stress, strenuous of my entire life. It got to a stage, I, I can't see anything again. My face was like this. <laughs> I can't see anything again. It was so stressful. But I was ready to faint and die, that not to get monetized as fast so that I can brag about it. You see the way I'm saying it now? One month, nine days. Boom. And funny enough, after that one, I got monetized for the next one, three days. Because I got one metrics and I used it and it worked. But the metrics is expensive because it's a movie. When you do movies, everybody will rush there and watch. So just do one movie with one popular person, that's all. Or carry any of their something that is not. <laughs> I'm just telling you something, but that's not the best one. The best one is to build the audience, let them get value from you. Because this is not entertainment. It's not like they just have to go and go away. So, something like that. Marian King Azeke says, Hello, sir. I tried creating digital account, but I was told I couldn't because I'm in Nigeria. Please, is there anything I didn't do right? No, they already told you you are in Nigeria now. You can't create digital from Nigeria unless you want to use VPN or use Epic Browser, which is what we use in creating ours. And even after you create it, they will ask you for tax. So what I always do, like I taught in the tutorial, is to go and get the tax of companies which are always in the public domain. I gave all the website there. You go there, you see their tax. You come and use it as if it's your own. Any day they do audit and get to you, they will block your account. <laughs> but before they do that audit, you will admit money. <laughs> <laughs> and then you link your PayPal account to it. That's what I, um, like me now, they have not blocked my own. They removed my money on PayPal, I keep making the money here, but I don't really do it because before I got to Digistore, I had ClickBank, which I use a bit, but I had my independent uh, affiliate marketing teams that I use. That, those are the ones I really use. Because there's no guarantee, that's the truth. There's no guarantee. Don't just follow creation on YouTube channels. So. Because all of us will say, uh, because that's the problem everybody has now. My Digistore 24 account, everybody is still pressing me on it because it's still working to date. But me, I know they will still one day they understand that you're not the owner of that tax ID that you're using. Unless you have somebody in the US who has a tax ID that can give to you. That's it. Otherwise, just forget about it though. Me, I'm saying my own now. Forget about it. All this click bang. Just go and do things like SEMrush, do like impact. Impact. Look, today I got like almost 45 something on impact. Yeah, but you see, the another problem is if you are going to use independent, most of them will need you to have a website. <laughs> you see, when I was telling people, website, 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 they, they're not the agree. When you have a website now, how do you get the website? Maybe I will give you my own job because I have plenty that I can't use. I only use uh, one. So the remaining 20, they are just there. Maybe you can use it to get, you know, because you don't need to, they won't verify if you are the owner. They just want you to put the ID. But some companies will want you to use your uh, customized email. That's why I'll do. So if you carry just a random website and put, and then they want you to use your personalized email. <laughs> you see how that works? I mean, now if you use my, I can't give you personalized email. That's why I say, look, let's set up correctly online. You make money. It's just a bit of direction, follow the right path, which is what we're doing in the giant classroom. You just have to do the right thing. That's the simple truth. Abi Okolo says, what type of phone are you using to stream? Techno Camo. I'm not a phone freak. Because a lot of people think phone phone. I buy each phone every year. That's why my phone is nine. I buy one phone every two, self. Me and my wife will buy phone every year. So the next year I'll collect the one from her, give her a new one, I'll give myself a new one, and then I now have two that is surplus. So I always have two two phones every year that is surplus. I have uh, nine phones. That's why I me with my fiber. So I put five on each of them like that. And then now that I have children that are grown-ups, I just pass one one to them. For I'll download a lot of things for them and then instead of iPads, phones are more handy. And then they are, the eldest will have uh, has a phone that has number. So that she anytime maybe I'm not at home or the mother is not at home, I want to call, we can call, you know? That's how we just have this year, December again, we'll buy another one. But this one is common techno. Uh, techno common. I don't know the configuration, but I know it's common. Come on, techno. Bam delay son. Any phone nowadays can do all these things. There's no big deal about it. Some phones are upgraded. It's the lightning that is fine here. <laughs> because some of us think this phone is the one that is clear now. It's the power of lightning. Let me show you now. Wait, oh, you see what I'm talking about now. I want to remove the light so that we'll see. You see how it looks? Even with this one, it's still making it a bit... Is This is the blue light I have at the background. That's why it's still looking a bit better. It's light that does the work. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. You see that? If, even if you use a, 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 a touch light, uh, I'm using just one light, just this one that's facing me. If I block it like this, you can see it. And then, and it's even the smaller one. That's it. But if you have light, like when we're producing, you know, I told you I bought these things when I was doing movies. I bought all of them. So I had all the lights that come from up. I have the softbox, I have the long one, I have, I have virtually everything. If you use three million to buy something two years ago, that one will be a small thing now. Apart from camera, and camera is still camera on its own. So, so you can see, that's why it's the light. So whenever you want to do any YouTube recording, even if it's a ring light, that's tiny one that is circle. I think that was like 40, 15,000. I don't know the price now. Because I remember those days I was teaching last, uh, I think last year around December. I had someone I was teaching when I, I started, when she started. Funny enough, this life, eh? Make we, this hard work thing. <laughs> the lady we started together in December was my men, mentee, what did they call the people that are learning from you? I, she started her own November because I taught them YouTube before I joined in December. So, she started, I started, if I tell you, she's still on uh, 300 and something subscribers to today. Because she gave up on it, I'll be shouting. This thing, you have to continue. And she had more views than I when I first started. Oh, ring light is 13,000. Thank you, Larry Wajueko. I don't know how much, I've never bought a ring light, but I know she bought. And she told me then. But she's tired because her mentality is when I do video, let 7,000 people watch me or 2,000. I say, no, when you do video, don't expect anybody to watch. They don't know you before. You go work out before this thing go peak. But I know they hear. <coughs> so, mm -hmm. I then know. That was I. Um, okay. Bamdele Sunday Speed says, I have a PC, sir. How would you do? Mm -mm. How would do start create video to upload on YouTube? You use your phone. I just assume what you typed. I think there's a typographic error there. You use your phone to record, like I'm recording. If it is short, you do vertical. If it is a real one, you do horizontal. And when you record, you I'll treat this because I wanted to do open shot tutorial. The one that you, I'm going to do open shot tutorial. Thank God I remember now. Since okay, I will do it on Giant Tube. I won't put it on this our channel. Am I making sense? Whatever, I'll think about it properly <laughs> so that I will know the one that because I think it's too early on that one. I think it's necessary here because now we have two channels i'm going to be shoving things through so that we we'll know which one is more better off so that you know how to edit either on phone or on pc if you have a pc already you can edit on it through an open source it's called open shot and then i'll just show you how to do it so that you know how to add your b-rolls you know how to add your volume your title anything i'll just teach it there so with that you can edit anything and then export it just like i always do and then handbrake will help you down size it so if you finish, like me, I use a huge camera. The camera is inside my office there. That one can give me like five gig when I finish recording. So after I finish uh, exporting, it can get to one point something, nine gig, two point something gig. I can post two point something gig on YouTube. So I now use, and I want the quality to still be there. So I use Handbrake. Handbrake will reduce to like sometimes 200 and something MD from that two gig. And then it will still be very clean. I see nothing. You can't even spot the difference. So that's what I use majorly. And nowadays I'm showing my face, although it's stressful. When I record without the face, it's faster because that one is like it's like live. I don't cut, I don't do anything. When I put it, I just talk, blah, 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 boom, I post. But when I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm recording. Sometimes my hand will mistakenly slap the microphone. <laughs> you know, I'm just passionate. Blah, 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 blah. Then I have to go and cut that place away. You know, by the time I finish and I export two hours, you are still waiting for it to finish exporting. That's where the wireless starts. And that's why I hate about creation of anything. That pause of you have to create and wait. I want everything so that I can create more content now. But when you record and wait, oh, that's why I bought plenty of laptops so that when I'm tired of this one, I go to the next one, use this one, use this one. But even at that, you can do just four because I have four laptops. I think that's it. Have we finished so we can go? No. Okay. Marian King Azeke says, okay, sir, thank you very much. Also, he says, please, sir, can I register as Blue Starfleet without having hosting account with them already yes 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 affiliate account is different from hosting account it's not the same thing you can open provided you have a paypal to collect your money if you don't uh, when you make the money you're gonna look for paypal <laughs> but paypal is in 90 you can use the paypal with that's the one i'm using 
I didn't even open any other one. Uh, the ones I opened outside the country is not the one I'm using. I'm using the one in Nigeria, which I opened for us in this tutorial. That's what I'm still using today. Active coupon. That's my own uh, pay party tomorrow. And it's been collecting thousands of dollars, you know. So it's working. Uh, Zion Edge Limited says, Hello, sir. Please, I have a website. How do I go about blogging? Uh, send me the website. Let me see what you have. And then how to go about blogging is, first of all, look at this channel and see all the blogging tutorials on it. By the time you finish that, I'm 100% sure, at least you'll be able to write something and all the article writings. But when we talk of the real blogging, it, it tired a pass more. <laughs> there are some, like if you want to monetize and make money, you get level. Not like this one I'm talking here. <laughs> but before you even get to monetization, at least get the traffic first. So writing that comes first. Mira King Azeke says, please, sir, I created a PayPal account but it wasn't a business account, but I didn't have an idea. Can I create a business account on it? Is it upgradable? I don't think it's upgradable. You can't upgrade. You just have to clear that, clear your cookies, start all over again, and use another email and create a new one through the process of IS and all of that. And then you get a UBA prepaid card that you will link to it so that you'll be able to withdraw your money from your bank. Ola Bami Daily Israel says, Good evening, sir. Can we make money with shorts video by copying and pasting short videos without promoting an affiliate link because it's not easy to register for affiliate marketing without website at least we know what the problem is get the website so we always shout it now you see what the problem is everybody that has spoken about affiliate marketing now they don't have a website <laughs> have you noticed it so they say i'm online i've been alive for 17 years doing what doing what because everybody now is affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing, but they don't have ordinary website to qualify for affiliate marketing. That's why everybody's looking for ClickBank. Look, when ClickBank sells people's market, the people that sell their market have their own affiliates, mainly, apart from maybe freelancers. You see what I'm saying? Please, if you know that it is a website that does it, buy a website. Abi? At least we know the devil that we are trying to chase. If you know that you want to make YouTube, make original YouTube content, not copying and pasting. I've said it. The place you are copying, they did not make it. What will you copy? And after you copy, 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 and the copy finish for there, what else is good they put? I gave the example of cat and dog uh, of a play or whatever. When you copy the Creative Commons and it finishes, does that mean your channel has ended? And at that point, maybe you are just starting to make money. Then you will not be under pressure. Are you going to go and buy a dog and cat and start? <laughs> Create something by yourself, sir. It's better that way. Rere Loluwa Yanolua. Thank you for all you do. Thank you very much. Rere Loluwa Yanolua says, I'm looking to land high paying client as a copywriter. Any idea? It's all freelancing. But when you do freelancing, please have your own website. I taught us how to open uh, for free a freelancing uh, website. Uh, sorry. Uh, what's that thing called again? A website that portfolio, freelance portfolio website. Yeah, I remember now. Freelance portfolio website I already taught us how to use Blogger and how you can link that to your name and you look so professional, you know, everything is on the channel. Just look for freelancing portfolio, African Giant. You see that website. It's one of the best website uh, tutorials I have on this website. But it doesn't have plenty of views because the real thing that works for everybody, most people will not want to do it. Is that BS, those nonsense that does not work. That's what people are interested in. <laughs> how to get 75,000 visitors without doing nothing. All of them go and click. <laughs> the real one that works, that we use, we that we are creating content, the one we are using, they will not click it. And then they will say they are not making anything. Bikonu. Hmm. God help us. Allah Dele Olanike says, sir, about our pork account, they ask for identity card as a Nigerian, which identity card can someone use? National identity card, driver's license, international passport. Any of those three works. Zion Edge Limited says, thank you, sir. Please, how do I send web address to you web address to me uh, anywhere whatsapp is better if you go to the description of this uh video description the one that shows beside you see the whatsapp link so you can get on that i'm calling it a day if you have a question ask now we're almost getting to three hours and um it's almost i'm almost wrapping up um gabriel is here case one says if i pay for 25 dollars for 10 articles how many words per article uh did i even think about this on the words 
How many was it? It's always 2,000. We don't do anything less than 2,000. It's always 2,000. 2,000 words and above. But then, you know, if you order for articles, you have to send your, uh, what's this called? You have to send your keywords. We are not the ones, if you want to, that means if you want us to do keywords, you will go and buy keywords again. Because this is our difference. We don't know your niche, so we can't just formulate. And if we have to do the research to get your keywords, you have to pay for it. I think that's like five dollars too. I think you see it on the shop. You see it. if you are doing keyword research, you see it. If you are doing articles, you see it. And this is not is it ten articles? It's not ten articles. I think it's five articles. I can't remember. Do I have to go and check this out? Emmanuel Maxwell says, Good evening, sir. I think I have to check this out. It can't be ten articles. Who's gonna write ten articles for twenty five dollars? That's what? That's one point five dollars. Come on now, two four seven cash dollars. I'm trying to check. <laughs> Even if na like I want to write it. Is it possible? One of my articles, the ones I write on Fiverr, is thirty dollar. I write thirty dollar article, one like this on Fiverr. So you can imagine. Even my accounts that are freelancers, I write ten dollar for one article. So you you are now talking. Let me check it though. If it's typographic error, so that I can change it before you get there. <laughs> because even as much as I wanted to say, oh, I'm putting this up to help us to grow us and all, I'm not sure I would have. I made that mistake when I first started. Oh, to tomorrow, I've not been able to finish 10 articles for those people. Because I want, and I, if the whole essence is to help, I wanted to write my own article for you. So at least, even if you can't write a better one, at least those five or 10 will rank your page in the first phase of it. And then you can start putting your own or use that my own to copy. That was what I wanted to do. But lo and behold, uh, I wrote five now, I've changed it. It's five optimized blog posts. That's like five, five dollars. You understand? I'm just using it to help. I'm the one that will write. I don't, when anybody orders from this uh, for several articles, it's me that writes it. It's not anybody. All these ones I'm saying is uh, I have some high-end writing. And virtually all my writings, even if they write for me, is me that sit down with it one after the other. I must optimize each. You know, you have to optimize with copywriting words. You have to optimize with affiliate marketing links. You have to optimize images. Sometimes I use like two hours extra on anyone anybody does that is already clean of packaging. So it's five articles. I've, ah, me, I've checked my thing. I'm alive too. You think I'm joking? See, I'm there. <laughs> Human being. You come and tell me the articles. Somebody will now work like uh, <laughs> tomorrow. No day. Mm -hmm. Where was I, please? Where am I? Ah, I don't mess this thing up. This is here, oops. Okay, that means I have to punch my phone. The, the live I was following on my system, I think the way I left the place, it didn't like it. It went away. And we have almost gotten to the end of it. Hmm. Where was I? Okay, Kelly Appan says, Please, how can I write a standard profile to get jobs? You learn that. Um, I'm still going to teach Upwork. I'm not, I've not gotten there yet, but I'm still going to teach it. Uh, Maxwell says, Emmanuel Maxwell says, good evening, sir. Chukudi Ajuono says, good evening, sir. Must I have a laptop to make money? Can I use my phone? You can only use your phone for social media influencing. That's all. Any other one, you can't make money online. He said, he said, Forget it. Don't waste your time. You can only learn. You know all these things you are watching now. You can watch on phone. You can do all that. But when it comes to real work, you have to jump on something more. Okay. Yoruba Flix says African giant tube. It's only giant tube. There is no African behind it. It's only giant tube. We are set to learn from you, sir. Okay. We are there. I've started posting on it. And I'll post more tomorrow as well. Sir, do someone need identity card for Fiverr also? Yes. Capital yes. You have to verify your identity on Fiverr. What are the software to use on PC to create video? Nothing. It's your phone. Your phone. I'm not using any software. Maybe you can see me now. It's your phone. Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what happened on Big Brother yesterday. How can... I don't know their names. How can this person go and be slapping this one in the market? Hey, come on now. You two will get angry. I will stop you. Just get vibes. Small. That's all. And then raise your voice. You notice that. Most time when I want to, now let me tell you when I record. This is how, this is my uh, practice. If I want to record, I start like, hmm. Because your voice must not be low. Remember when people click into you, it's your vibe that keeps them going. So when you come and say, hello everyone, 
welcome to my channel today somebody that's having a bad day or good day whatever they will not, whether it's bad or good day they won't listen to you again because you are too you are dragging their spirit down so me before i come up i'm like i'm fiery so i say let me tell you how you can make money from youtube very quickly you know that's how i teach i don't know if you have noticed it <laughs> i don't talk as if i'm relaxed no i talk as if somebody is pursuing me now now <laughs> and that's what works and you can never finish your somebody who said yesterday he said you have never finished one tutorial before you must refer us to another one uh -huh. if i finish that one now and i don't refer you are you go watch another one and if you are not being watching videos youtube will think i am not a good content creator so you have to learn that as well so when you start talking you don't when you finish this one you say look if you want to get traffic blah, 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 look, go and see this one this is the one that inside that one too i'll still tell you it's you that you'll be tired of me me i can't i'm the content creator now i'll keep teaching you there's no day you end up training it's continuous forever today now i've stipulated three things i'm going to do this week and then we remember another one and then i'm saying maybe i'll put it on the other channel you know i'm trying to and that's how it will go 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 and go and go and go to we all get to the 80 years at that time we'll be billionaires but at least we'll be old and we'll be happy we all met that's how it goes let me see before we call it a day the questions that are here uh so there's no nothing it's only for editing that you need open shot open shot O P E N shot s h o t that one you need Emmanuel Maxwell says, please sir, do you have any video on how to start YouTube channel? Yes, I have. Just check this channel. This channel we are in, you see it, but I've moved this particular YouTube channel training to Giant Tube. That's what the title of the thing is. Giant, like African Giant, then Tube, like YouTube. Giant Tube is the name of the channel. You can search for that on YouTube. That's where I'm going to teach everything YouTube. That one has nothing on it than YouTube. If I have 100 videos on it, everything is going to talk about YouTube. That's what I... You, you see this thing I'm doing here? Today, that was why I was searching everybody uh, on YouTube. There's no Nigerian. Please, if you know anybody, tell me, because I'm still making the uh, research. I did not see any Nigerian that is teaching YouTube. None. Everybody I saw is people that, uh, people that are talking about how much I made on YouTube, how much a small YouTuber made. That's what I saw. I didn't see anybody that is on YouTube. Just like you see uh, Rob, VidIQ, teaching YouTube. Or you see... Uh, something mini man or something something like that i know all of them and one girl too there's one girl that is talking fast she's always talking fast that one started like two years ago as well so i just noticed that nobody's teaching you to be nigerian and the, uh, you see all these things they are teaching us from there i'm not saying it's not good though it's good though but <laughs> half of it know they work for nigeria because <laughs> our own metric is dynamic our people are dynamic what our people is different from what they are saying and nobody's teaching it in Nigeria. So every YouTuber in Nigeria, they are just using to make concern. And they are trying now things. And so the new ones, that's why we don't have big YouTubers in Nigeria now. How many YouTubers are big here? And making money. Except for these people that are doing uh, lifestyle. And all those lifestyle, eh? Now, now a couple of couple that they make. <laughs> you just see $1 CPM, uh, RPM. When my RPM sometimes will get to $10. So my own 1,000 view will be $10. Their own 1,000 view will be $1. So even if they have 100,000 views, by the time you divide it by that one, one dollar, it becomes 100, 100 naira, uh, 100 dollar. And if I have 100,000 views, me, I'll make 1,000. You see the difference. So all those things, a lot of people don't know. Those are things I'll be teaching how to get monetized easily, how to get your 1,000 views. All these, we are there. Uh, where was I? Obi I say, Pastor. When am I coming? Don't come, oh, don't come. I'm busy. All these are our people. Let me go this thing. I'm getting tired. Abba. Whoa, I'm familiar. You should do me the local. No verse, yo. I'm trying to rest my back. That one, I'm I'm half folded. <laughs> no mind me, oh, I'll be good. Uh, okay. Obi-Wan, don't come, oh. Don't, don't come. You, you said you don't have a car. Funny enough, she's uh, one of us in uh, the African Giants, and then she came to Abuja. She said she wanted to say hi to me. So I asked her, where are you staying? Apparently, she's staying like Kubwa, very far from where I am. I'm in Lube, she's in Kubwa. And then I said, okay, when do you want to come? She now said, eh, you know, I don't have a car here. And I've been wasting money on, on Uber, a big boat. So I said, don't, don't even worry again. Now she's saying, when are you coming? Don't come, oh. don't come. And I can't even be asking my wife to cook anything again. So let everybody just stay on their own like that. 
Emmanuel Maxwell says, do you have any video on how to promote affiliate links in LinkedIn? There's no big deal about that. LinkedIn accept links. Just write your article, normal articles, and post it there. That's all. I have LinkedIn tutorials that I make, but I didn't really create anything. There's no special thing. Just write your normal article and put your links. That's all. Okay, where am I? Emmanuel Emiagi says, my boss, I just came in now. What? This is almost 11 o'clock. Past 11, self. You they try, yo. We in our house, we they sit down. We know they come out. And we are enjoying. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Zion Edge Limited says, I just sent the web address to you on Telegram. Okay, I'll sit there when I'm done. So before you go, sir, please, I watch your videos on email marketing. Mm -hmm. Please start the YouTube tutorial already. I've started obi It's Giant Tube. Giant Tube. Giant Tube. Giant Tube. I'm shouting the name. Go and get it on. I haven't sent it to the group. I'm sure maybe we missed that. Funny Life of Pets, which is McDonald, I think. <laughs> Says, sir, you missed out my question on linking my YouTube channels. Oh, yeah, ask me again, oh. Oh, yeah, ask me again, please. I think I missed that. Emmanuel Lufisan says, I'm in tax, sir. Wonderful. Zion Edge Limited says, marketing, and you talked about scrapping emails, but how to do it so I don't appear to be spammy? Of course, I, I treated that on how to write an email copy. If you check the list, you see how to write an email copy. There I explained how you should write your articles, uh, write your email copy when you send it to them, and how to do your headlines. I already treated that on the channel. Just look at the playlist, you get in there. So the, it won't enter spammy, you won't attend spammy. It's only when you are selling to them that it uh, uh, appears spammy. You know, if you are just writing to them, uh, selling, oh, there's an information about this, you can check out this, you can do that. They're going to like, but uh, when you write to somebody first time and you are saying, uh, I want to sell, that's when you become spammy. obi -Wise says, it's not what we discussed, though. Uh, so what did we discuss? Ha, egg by me. You are manipulating me again. So what did we discuss? You did not tell me you are not with your car, that you are tired of venturing boats. So maybe you want me to come, and I can't. Me, I'm working. It's people that, if you want to see me, you come and look for me in my house. That's all. <laughs> At least it's even good, so that you see all this, my background, and you know, everywhere, you know. <laughs> so that when you see the camera, you like, I was there. Maybe you will start picture yourself. Or I will interview you on the live. Meet our giant, one of our giants. <laughs> I want to be doing video recording stuff. What do they call that? Interview. And I don't know if it is good or bad. I want to interview all these guys. Uh, bro Shaggy, uh, Daniel Ozu, his brother, Gerard. I want to go and interview all of them. Because I want to know what they are thinking too. So that all of us can enjoy it. Because those guys are always creating products and all. And I have questions to ask all of them. I thought of it today. And I listed some names. Uh, Tauma, all these comedians, Macaroni himself, and all of that. And there's one guy too, uh, Foshido, Fisayo Foshido. He's always even wearing turtleneck like this. So, all of them. And there's other one guy too that does photography. I've, I marked all of them. Today, when I was looking for a Nigerian that is teaching YouTube that I didn't get, that was when I got all of them. Plenty Nigerians. I say, ah, we are in. All of us are doing well. <laughs> so it's me, I'll go and be interviewing them so that you can know what they are thinking, especially for the YouTube channel, so that all of us that are just coming up can see what they are thinking and what what uh, you will also go through before you break through. So it won't be like what I say alone, you hear other people who have made it, because some of them have 200 and something thousand subscribers, 100 and something thousand, you know, so that we can do it. Fawa says, good day, sir. Manuel Elufis and says, I'm expecting you to grant my request. You know, I, I'm not your boy now. I can't grant it. If I like, I got a request. If it's something I can do, if it's not something I can do, meow, <laughs> meow. Uh, Abi Okolo says, Kaleshi in Benmena is teaching YouTube. No, she's not. I've seen this person like uh, when I started in December. She talks about YouTube because she's making money on YouTube. Her channel is not YouTube tutorials. Her channel is lifestyle. She teaches makeup. For example, I even saw her today again. She was putting, ah, I got married. My wedding picture is that on YouTube again? No. When you say niched, have you gone to see VidIQ tutorial? VidIQ niche, uh, YouTube. It's YouTube and YouTube. There is nothing again in it. So Kelechi Mena taught YouTube because she made some money off it and then she talks about it. That's, I think she only has maybe four videos in all her videos. She's not teaching it. I know her. 
I they look for my kind now. You know, if I'm in Nigeria, I'm looking for my kind terribly. Uh, I am Steven. Some Tochuku says, please, I need your help on PayPal. There's no need for help. Just go to the channel and see the PayPal tutorial and follow it. Just follow it like that. That's all. There are some things that doesn't even really need help. Uh, Obi says, I've subscribed now. I mean videos. <laughs> I don't expose you. Obi I don't expose you. Oh my word. I didn't know that was what you are talking about. I don't. <laughs> uh, me, I know get secret. See my life. I don't know. <laughs> uh, woman, me. I'm a very terrible person. Oh my lord. I didn't know you meant video. I thought it was about uh, the visitation. See, as I the para. No verse, I beg. <laughs> Imane Max says, How do I get your 1,000 verified emails? They gave us like 5 million emails. Though. The problem was, uh, I told people to register on uh, 247 Cash Dollars Forum. I was going to send it to them. And then I've been compiling and compiling. You know, we are, uh, that's the problem I have. I always want to group and do things once. So I was waiting for others to join. Then I said, let me give it time. But I think I've given it more than enough time. I should do something about it this week by God's grace. Just go to 247cashdollars.com and the forum, register there and put the question, I need the 1,000 email. That's where I'm going to send to everybody that is there. Because the email is plenty, so it's, there's no there's no case with that. Fawa says, I'm a Nigerian, please. I need a way to, I can hand money with low withdrawal. I can earn money with low withdrawal in Nigeria. What's that? Low withdrawal? What's low withdrawal? I don't know what that means, but to earn money in Nigeria, you can just check the channel to see all the tutorials you need. Uh, Zion Edge Limited says, thank you very much, sir. Please remember to check my web address I sent to you. Of course, I'll send. I'll check everything. Emmanuel Elufison says, I'll chat you on WhatsApp, and that's the end of it. Thank you very much. I got to go. It's three hours, more than three hours. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Have a great evening. Bye.